Yeah, we thought we'd come in there. See how good it is. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. 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 Why do you guys have not been invited? We haven't received any invitation from your account class. What? Uh, you don't want that to be there. I'm not going to get drawn into that. Why? I've been able to do. I've never finished. Well, because. Uh, you really want me to, do you? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, it's good for us. 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 Yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. 
Something like this, shouldn't that be put in as an agenda item, not a submission from the public? It's I'm doing it as, as from the public. Well, not the public, your council, you sat there. It doesn't matter. I can still be classed as a member of the public. Right. Other councils have also done it as members of the public. You should have put this in three days before as an agenda item. A decision can be made yeah. regardless. But as a member of the anyway. public, I can actually put this across. Uh, I'll say something regardless of his personal affairs, Tom is without doubt tireless in his, uh, his dealings as a mayor. He's tending all sorts of functions, many outside South Gloucestershire, many outside Bloody States. Um, um, I will second that. Tom Deach is one of the hardest working characters yeah. I know. And what happened was not even in. Um, South Gloucestershire occurred in Bristol mm. and Tom is not a paid member of staff, he's a volunteer like we all are, so I think we're just wasting our time and I oppose <coughs> the suggestion. Anyway, private matters, um, I've taken uh, instructions from the South Gloucester Legal Department and uh, they said the council as you are not acted as a councillor, it's nothing and it's a private matter between you, the council doesn't want to involve and the council doesn't want to hear. Yeah. And I also put a matter for damages against <coughs> what they have done. So that is actually a case that I can report. No, no further action, Chairman. Any other submissions? Yeah, can I, can I, I'd like to say something. Um, <coughs> I've known Tom for quite a while, uh, and initially as a member of the public. And um, <coughs> when I became a councillor first um, in Bridie Stokes some 12 years ago, um, we used to have a couple of residents which used to come over the community and, uh, and talk about things and actually bring things to our attention. And uh, I think it was probably during that first four years that um, Tom actually started coming to meetings and on a regular basis and um, suggesting things to the council we might do or whatever. And uh, I was one of the people that actually 
suggested to Tom why didn't you become a councillor because you attend all these meetings and you know it's difficult to get people to, to come forward as councillors and at the time he didn't do that but eventually he came forward and um, my uh, attendance was pretty good at one stage on Bradley Town Council. Recently it's, uh, it's dropped off somewhat um, and I must admit um, I try and get to meetings which I feel are important. We've got quite a few people here which regularly attend. I think Tom's attendance on meetings for which he's not paid for and also um, within uh, South Gloucestershire and, and the surrounding areas uh, to do with matters for the public um, has been astounding. And, you know, I, I must admit that you know, this is a private thing which has actually happened and has come up, which is good. You know, the fact of the matter is you, know, you read what's there in the paper or whatever. It's not necessarily the complete facts of the matter. And uh, I, I must admit, I, I'm really pleased that uh, Tom has uh, come to meetings tonight because you know, a lot of people <coughs> are put off by people having a shouting match or something with somebody. And, 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 and I'll be recording for the meeting tonight. So uh, thank you, Tom. Hi there. Uh, reading really you say I have to uh, announce if I'm a, a resident of Bradley Stoke, which I am not, but I'm here representing. Residents of Stoke Lodge and the Common who have been affected by the uh, car park renewal up at the uh, doctor's surgery up there. And we're very concerned at this moment in time as to what is actually what we've ended up with. Yeah, can, because this is an agenda item. Yes. Uh, so can we actually address that? Thank you, Tom. Thank you. <coughs> I'm the same a resident of uh, the common, but when it's an agenda item, I don't believe the public got the right to speak. No, we will allow it, that's fine. That's fine, if you allow it, then that's fine. Okay. Tom, would it be possible to bring that agenda item forward? It's actually in the top of the oh, okay. So that's uh, it's seven one. So it's actually, uh, okay. Number two, to receive any apologies for absence. Okay, so thanks for this, uh, Terry Cullen. Nikki, Hannah, and the ward, and she's coming. Okay. And Ed Rose has got his. Okay. Application for dispensation by councillors. Yeah, I've got a new one. Um, Friends of Freemasons Hall, which is a charity. Friends of Freemasons Hall, this one. I've got a career one, I wonder. Do you know if I'm doing more? When I'm doing that, I would like to actually call, because to save the time, 
in the 7 to deal with matters arising from the minutes of the meeting held on the 18th September 2019, not covered elsewhere in that, but 7.1, Brookway Activity Center Sites Ground Redevelopment. Start then, okay, so um, we are the, the, the project is, is um, pretty much done. Um, we there's a couple, couple of um, uh, smaller things that, that, that need finishing off, um, but in the main, yeah, we've got the, um, the 18 spaces. Um, we, Great for the, the site, the additional um, parking, um, and it's you know overall it, it's gone it's gone well. Um, from a, we've received um, a letter from Andy. I think Andy popped into the the office um, with a couple of concerns. So I can either hand it over to you or. We'll go through the, the letter. Do you want to go through the letter first? And, uh, yeah. Yeah, because there's okay. a lot of detail. Yeah. Okay, so if I just uh, go to say. So, uh, we have received complaints from residents and councillors who are directly affected by the new car park extension of Bradstreet Surgery. The car park does not comply with the planning permission and condition that granted by site gloss on any point. Uh, the car park has been extended to allow for a ramp uh, by two spaces, minimum increase 2.4 metres in length to the site, which will impact on residents of the common, which increased noise and light pollution, uh, which has not been taken into account on the planning application or condition. The ramp does not comply with any building regulation, in fact creates a hazard to the users. Due to the severity of the incline, uh, the light emitted by vehicles, headlights and tail lights may pass over the roof ridge of four properties to the left of the central house when driving up the ramp and then returns back down to the level, the light spillage passing the upper and lower levels, uh, windows, the properties uh, adjacent to the car park. Please see attached to the pictures from the second floor of the central property. This we believe is totally unacceptable. The planting scheme does not help this problem, as the beach hedging provides no cover in the winter. The screening is inadequate to provide a temporary solution. Uh, even the laurels that are planted as, as an extra to the planting scheme will have no impact for five to seven years on the lower level light pollution and do nothing to the other properties. Also, by removing the tennis court screening close to the activity centre, this has now created a new problem for vehicle lights in the old car park. This needs to be addressed for a practical solution to stop the light emission from this area as it was never considered by the STC or planning. Uh, therefore, we believe that the car park contributing to plan and approval have been breach of environmental law. Um, unreasonably and substantially interfere with the use uh, or enjoyment of a home or other premises, uh, in, injure health or be likely to injure health. Both of which is highlighted by the planning consent and therefore cannot take place. Uh, the car park should not be used until proper measures have been agreed by the council and that the use of the car park does not impact on the residents of the common. There are vulnerable persons that live on the common who have a variety of health conditions that will be exacerbated uh, by light pollution and noise. We have a duty of care as a council not to allow this to take place. The scheme shows total disregard to the residents of the common and a solution needs to be Find for the car park is fully operational. Uh, please see below the planning permission that was granted by South Gloss Planning Department. Please note the conditions that should have been imposed. Um, resolved. Number one, the planning permission be granted subject to the conditions set out within the report. Number two, that the following additional conditions be imposed. Prior to the commencement of development, the landscaping scheme shall be submitted to and agreed in writing by the local planning authority. The landscaping scheme should ex expressly demonstrate how it mitigates the impact of headlights from cars using the parking area. So, yeah, it's common. Therefore, the development shall proceed in accordance with the agreed details. The reason, in order to safeguard the living conditions of the residents of the common against disturbance from headlights, vehicles using the additional parking area. 
This is to accord with policy PSP 8 of the Cyprus to local uh, policies, sites and places, DPP adopted November 2017. I look forward to hearing from the report. Thank you very much for reading that out. Um, it's, it's a very detailed letter that, uh, that we sent. Um, but the bottom line is, we had a bit of a, dry, a dummy run with the car park, um, with lights, and what we're finding is with the ramp, the severity of the ramp, the lights are going up over the house, over the roof, and back down again. So we've got this, during darkness, this continual action. Also, because the tennis court screen is now taken away, we've now got the lights that go right round. Now, Unfortunately, with the screen removed, we've now got that as another problem. So we've got two problems. And with these lights and the flashing lights and going up and down, with the health issues we've got with some of the residents in that area, which adjacent to it, it has become a very big problem to them. Hence, they come to me. Hence, we've come to see you tonight. Now, we understand the need for more car parking. That's not the issue. The issue is to make the car park a safer place for the residents that are adjacent to the car park. But I think one of the biggest things as well is the angle of the ramp. You get a frosty day, I hope you've got some good insurance because that is very severe and somebody's gonna go for a, an absolute curder there. I would like to uh, bring my colleague John in to good actually uh, in depth, give a bit more about the health issues that yeah, are gonna be caused. Standard. Um, just to pick up on the planning meeting um, that I attended, and it was, it was good response from the council that they were going to do something that would alleviate the problems, which was return the old barrier to the end of the car park, which is solid. The netting that you've put up is wind netting. It does no light diffusing whatsoever. So it has no use. It's the same as what you put around your um, organized areas out here. It's wind netting. It's not a light diffuser. It doesn't work. The problem with lights going up into the bedroom on the evening. Like my wife, we've got MS, which is optic neuritis as well. You get a flash from that and she will fall over. She will be totally, totally, um, well, it just, it just makes her fall over. That's the easiest way. We've got the next person to us who has got glycoma. So again, high intensity light is a problem. And then we've got the next person who's partially blind, but the problem, if you start using it at the moment, We've got a very seriously ill lady in there that probably is not going to make Christmas. So if you do open it and start this, I'm, I'm afraid for myself, it'll have to be a abatement order. I will start an abatement order against you um, because you're breaking your conditions. And it clearly says, and I went to the meeting and this was the, the, the resolve for the meeting, in order to safeguard the living conditions of the residents of the common against disturbance from headlights of the vehicle um, and using the additional car park. So it was there, it was part of the condition, and you have not adhered to that condition in one way or another. Be it the netting, this wind netting, the ramp, assisted ramp is uh, one in eight, um, unassisted ramp is one in 12, so it don't meet any of those requirements. That's just on a, a plan inside. The redevelopment of, uh, at the end, where you were gonna relocate the trees. Now I have three excavators, so I've got a Fair idea how to take trees out and put them back in. They were ripped out three days, four days before, breaking the tap root. You've now relocated them at the end. They're just gonna die. So that part of the screen isn't gonna work. So there's many issues of, as they say, buy it cheap, do it, you'll do it twice. And that's what you're gonna do because it was so easy to do correctly by using another entrance, which was on a level. If you look at a topographical survey, you will see the rise in the ground would not affect the other houses. And by what you've done, again, I'll go back to levels. I went to the meeting across there and I said, you've got a problem with levels. You put the ramp here, you're gonna put the lights above the top of the roof and you've done it. So no one's listened to any of the comments of the common or councillors or obeyed to, to your conditions. was on the planning committee that originally passed this and everything seemed to be quite hunky-dory. Planning officers were happy with it. Um, I don't know what, uh, what condition, I can't remember what conditions we actually put on it, 
I have the but conditions. The place to go is if you don't believe that the conditions have been fulfilled, the South Gloucestershire Planning Authority will send an inspector out to uh, examine what we've what we've done, uh, whether that accords with the conditions, um, which I probably believe it does. But uh, <coughs> if you've got concerns, uh, that's the area to go. I mean, well, we have contacted South Gloucestershire Planning. We right. have. Yes. Have you spoken to them about it? I'm waiting for their reply. Uh, I had a, re a reply from a district councillor and it looked at it and he said it couldn't get no bad, worse, sorry, it couldn't get any worse than what it is. So we're not going to start name throwing. Right now, I call upon John to give you a response from, from the town council. Thank you. So, thank you. Yeah, well, well I mean, obviously, um, I think that's the best, yeah, that's the yeah, best thing to do. Yeah. This, yeah. this has been obviously. Yeah. And we've all been at the same meetings yeah. Uh, yeah. with South Gloss and going through the planning yeah. and all the and all the work. So um, any any issues and concerns like that, I think you know, would need to be addressed. Yeah, yeah they have to go to the planning officer because he, he will look at it and uh, possibly come out and visit it. And uh, we spoke about yeah, different yeah. Um, access points and, and things like that. Uh, and the this things is if, if, breach, if so. there are conditions at the breach, I can't remember what the conditions were. We put on it. Mm -hmm. Brian, you were there. Yeah, <coughs> still not being brought, being brought in. Um, guys at the meeting as well. Um, <coughs> and there was quite a lot of things said at that particular meeting, and one of the important issues was actually to make sure that appropriate conditions were put on, and that those conditions were looked at uh, by the local members um, with the planning officer uh, to be agreed uh, to make sure uh, that we didn't have this problem with the ramp, we didn't have the problem with the lights, and that uh, any um, vegetation, I'll call it vegetation which was put in, uh, was appropriate. Um, and unfortunately that got ruled out the day, and don't ask me why, but it actually did. So the local members were then no longer involved, and it's been quite a long time since that national planning went in with the um, conditions, and it's been back and forth from this council, and I've stayed away from it, uh, to be quite frankly, because it was down to the council to make sure that it was done correctly. Um, I've been up to the car park recently and had a look, and I was quite dismayed with what I've seen. It's the first, one of the first times I've been up here recently uh, to see the work, and the, the angle of the ramp is horrific. And as being said here, I mean, some people might think that's been exaggerated, but if you've got people walking up there um, and to get their car at night and there's been a frost, they'll probably slip over because it is absolutely awful. I think the, um, the fact that the uh, thing wasn't dug out, uh, was saving money, you know, it should have been at the same level, unfortunately uh, it was determined that uh, the space was going to be used, and whereas years ago, when I wanted that to be used as a temporary car park, I was told point blank uh, by uh, certain councillors on this uh, committee at the time who were builders, and it was pushed off that effectively the base would not be able to be strong enough to be used for uh, for a car park, and as it is, what's happened is the base has been left there, it's been tarmacked over, and you've got this ramp going up to it. John was very helpful because at an earlier stage, um, was contacted by um, the resident, local resident in relationship to the fact that on the conditions, uh, they put in uh, deciduous uh, types of uh, trees there, which would effectively um, just let light through in the winter. And, and it was agreed to actually interplant them, and I think uh, John was part and parcel of that as a, as a, as a good suggestion to actually, because there was quite a lot of budget which was left over from the money which was allocated to this particular thing, to, to make sure that there was some plenty of uh, trees which effectively would be evergreen right the way through the year. And also, uh, that whilst the uh, items were growing, to put in uh, a 1.8 metre fence uh, behind them, uh, which was a very good suggestion, and hopefully that would then be left later on. Um, but unfortunately, what's, what's come back, and I think everybody was quite happy about that, um, and also to do with the lighting. The lighting you move, a uh, planning meeting was suggested that the actual lighting, because uh, it wasn't going to be any additional lighting, but effectively there is a light closer to the area of the car park, which is sensible because you need to make sure that people, if they're walking back to the cars, can actually see and not trip over and hazard. But it was a suggestion that that lighting unit 
was actually put right at the back of the car park, uh, the, new, the new piece, looking towards um, the, uh, the centre, um, but that wasn't really sort of taken up. But the thing is, that would have been quite a good thing to do. But this thing, it does need to be looked at, and obviously uh, Roger is quite right. <coughs> um, if the conditions aren't met, then, you know, if the conditions are met, but in reality, what you have got, even if they were met, you have got a bad situation for local residents, and, that, and I don't think that's... that's yeah, you can't thing. change the flow. It, can it the may not be changed yeah. anyway, because the reality, yeah. if this, you know, it's a shame this hadn't actually gone back to local members. I was very interested in it, and it would have actually been done correctly. That's one thing we did say when we spoke is that you know, I respect it and hear the views and you know the, any any issues and then obviously any, any works that we can we can look at to to help mitigate those issues then then that's something we you know that you can look at as a, like a, a phase two whether it be a, a, a fence fencing fence panels or, or, or something you know. Yeah, so something just to really protect that house. And that's, that's and that's the has everybody seen the photographs of no, the no, no, vehicle? Because no, right. the angle is just a bit like that. You know, it's not a bit like that. It's, it's, a, you know, it's not like that. It's like that. And it's, it's ridiculous. Absolutely crazy situation. And in fact, I think some cars will probably ground going up there. Okay, I just want to make a point. I thought the actual level of the we didn't we didn't not excavate the old tennis court with the cost. I thought we had to leave it at that height and we weren't allowed to excavate because of damaging roofs, roofs. to other yeah. That's other what properties. Came up. So part of yeah. part of the reason we left it at that height was because um, we were trying not to detrimentally impact other things. Yeah. I didn't I didn't think it was due to a cost reason. I thought the reason we left that height and the reason we ended up the ramp is because we were trying to yeah. And right now the solution is to how to protect that house from the lighting that we need. Yeah. 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 I was just commenting that why I think it said it was cost. I didn't, I didn't think it was that. I thought it, it was, was cost. It was, it was, it was, it was, roots. It was to do it was with the roots. Tree, tree, tree roots. Because they came back, the tree yeah. person came back and stated that we couldn't dig it because the roots that was going in under would kill off all those, that greenery that's there. Yeah. I, I, sorry, Chair. I, I think John is. Um, <coughs> set, set a way forward here, basically, to relook at it. So I propose that we actually relook at it and, and, and just check everything through to see that we can make sure that this is, you know, sorted out properly and not, well, and not actually so occurring a problem for people. Job, isn't it? Sorry? Yeah, that's so uh, cloth. Well, it's sad possibly it won't actually... More it's being passed. No, it's sad possibly not to come back and do something to it. Well, yeah. they can examine it and see whether any conditions have been breached. And if you've broken the... Up here under there. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Roger, yeah. I, I'm not actually... I, I did say earlier, you know, if the conditions are correct, yeah. then it's pretty stupid what's actually happened. And we've got a duty of care to yeah, people. That's... So in reality, effectively, even if the conditions were have been met and it's not being looked at properly by either South Plus or what, I mean, we can put a blame game backwards and yeah. forwards, but we are where we are, and I think the proposal should be, to which I'm, I'm saying, is to basically, so that John can relook at this and see what he can do, and then come back uh, with a proposal to the councillors, which they can uh, then look at and agree on. I'm not saying to, to agree to change, make any changes at this particular point. What I'm proposing is that we go back and relook at it, and then John can come back with uh, the appropriate report. And uh, my question, my solution is, they came with a problem, okay, and we need to give a solution. The solution is they have light screen. So if we can put in screening or something, we can explore it. Yeah. That will be a better solution. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, John, and uh, so that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I was just going to say that the way ahead in the long term may be for the council to put in a new planning application to get it put right by that means. Right now, this is the issue. Is, is that all right? I've got a proposal on that. Because I have an agreement. Would that be helpful to you? First of all, no. Uh, I want to hear my members and I'll yes. First of all, as a councillor and a resident, I will work fully with you, you know, to get this, uh, mm. this the solution done. Okay. It is achievable. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's as simple as that. We don't yeah. need to go further than we need to go. And I've been keen to, you know, yeah. to make it look, this is where we're at here, the, yeah. the, the issues and, the, and, and yeah. the concerns. And then as as a, a phase two or such or something, you know, I, I can then 
Yeah, I could maybe meet one side. Yeah, John, there is the there is a solution, guy. and one solution, first of all, like was was put forward at planning um, meeting I came along to was to reinstate the barrier at the end of the new car park because it used to be four foot high, was won't be probably high enough now. Um, it used to go around the tennis courts. Now, we want to. So, can we be able to actually work together so that? Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, it. yeah, we can find a solution. Right now, uh, my proposal is to actually join to explore what other things that yeah. we can do and but, uh, arrange it. Uh, uh, if you don't mind, John, I'll, I'll it's meet not you a problem. Can and can I, we can have a look at it. And yeah. And yeah. But can I have one assurance that the car park stays slow, uh, closed until we got the solution? Yeah. Yeah. Could I also suggest that based on the letter to us, we will respond to that letter. Yeah. However, we need to wait for a response from the uh, South Lodge yeah. 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 Absolutely. before we can yeah. respond to this particular letter. Because yeah. the issue has gone beyond us to South Lodge yeah. 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 On that particular note, as yeah. the four South Gloucestershire councillors here, surely you could do your best to try and speed it as best you can? Speed up. You know, by speaking to the, the planner. Yeah, we want to. Yeah. Question. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure. You don't want to drag on any longer. I'll, I'll make sure the yeah, thing yeah, that yeah, come yeah. down really, really okay. quickly. Yeah, yeah, um, it will do. It will come down. It will come down there next week, definitely. Um, but in reality, whatever the situation, um, if you go up there and you look at what's there, even if it actually complies with conditions, which we're really checked back with local members, um, then effectively it's got to be changed. Uh, yeah, I think we could do that without too much of a yeah. problem. That's, that was all my proposal was. No, was it actually no, saying no, we've got to do something? <coughs> I'm just proposing that John actually actually yeah. looks at it carefully mm -hmm. and sees if we can re remedy it reasonably simply. Yeah. I, okay, Ben. I, I would just be really. I'd want to know that if we've, what we've done is absolutely in line with the conditions. Well, I, don't, well. I don't want to well. be like proposing anything that doesn't make sure that's checked first before yeah. they're formally responding to anything. So take the complaint at face value and then go ahead and almost recommend ourselves to make sure we are doubly squeaky clean. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got make, to that. make another proposal, right? We don't no. use the car park until this is actually sorted out and we've got the, the information back from South Gloucestershire whether or not it's correct or not and that John actually looks to make sure that it is not actually inconveniencing local residents. So that's my proposal. It doesn't matter. Mm. But um, my proposal is to actually so John can work with the residents and see, explore the situation, and if it's clear, you know, one more things that we needed, then that is what we need. Yes, um, John, I would also like to be involved with your um, going up there with John. Yeah. So that I know what's exactly what's going on and why. So when you go up there, let me know, and I'll come and meet you as well. Uh, then it's not a requirement because if you're the councillor, then no, I, will go, I will go up and I will, we yes, have sir. a right to go up as well. So you yes, yes, we can argue about the conditions all along, but it clearly states it, it says against disturbance of headlights of vehicles on the common. That's from my upstairs ha room, and then bring it round and show so it. Don't matter which way you, you look at it. That is in my bedroom. Yeah. yeah that's all right. Sorry, 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 sorry. Well, sorry. Yeah, I need some more. Uh, that's upstairs. Bushes or, or screening, don't we? Obviously. Yeah. Okay. The mm. fairy states headlights lane in the. Uh, and that's upstairs. Yeah, you just need something there. Yeah. High enough just to go over that. Have you got the other photographs you can show the end of the vehicle so that people don't really appreciate it? I think you you could just go up there eh, and have a look at it yourself. Just even like Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm going to do yeah, anyway. You, you can do that, that's what I did. I just went to have a look at it and I was just quite amazed. <coughs> so there's a. Yeah, it's a slight 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 I don't know what dimensions are on this. Yeah, but I'm not an engineer, so I don't know. You don't need to get caught, John. I don't know about it. Thanks, John. Thank you.
So there is a proposal right there from Brian uh, to for John Grenville to to look at the idea and work with the local residents to install additional screening to protect the property further. So that is a proposal I would like to second it. And so the, this other point was not to use the car park. That one, that is not a proposal right now yet. That is the second one. Yeah, point. adding that to it, not to use yeah. a car park until yeah. such time as we sort of that, or at least not use the car park, you know, at certain times during during the day. So it would be sort of probably from four o'clock onwards, it would be closed or something on that top end, you know, to go into it. Can we actually put this one, the second one, you can actually put this further, so that this proposal can go forward. Right. Some sort of barrier at the back. Yeah. That is what they will make. Okay, yeah. we'll have that in the second one there. Yeah, yeah. So that is the first proposal by uh, which I mentioned. We'll add that one in as a second proposal. Yeah, so uh, all in favour? Can you show me your hands? This is John Randall to look at the area and work with the local resident to install additional screening to protect the property for so that is additional it. screening I think additional that screening yeah. 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 how many proposals have we got on the table Tom? that's just the one I think that's it's great and that, that was actually to, to come back no, that was Brian's proposal yeah that was my proposal no, that is Brian's proposal but it was, it was to come back to the committee with the, with the information not, not to agree to do it not to agree to do it but just John to go and get some information that's what I said that's what I said we need to be a bit precise here because we don't know what we're going for that is free why what I read Brian's screening oh yeah yeah, but Brian actually mentioned that his first proposal is John Randall to look at the area and work with the local resident to install additional screening. Well, to look at and see if it, they can be um, not installed, we go we need to assess. They'll change yeah, slightly, yeah, without, yeah. without yeah. great yeah. expense. That's yeah. what but then if it is needed, that is what the requirement is, that is what the need John, Well, John can come back with a proposal, not, I'm not but saying that. But then it's taking time. Again, yeah, we'll go to assess the situation yeah. before we take any steps. That's actually the officers to actually do it, isn't it? That's, that's right, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, John can go down. I didn't actually say do screening it. or anything. I just said for John to go and look at it and then come back with a proposal to us. That was all. Officers to actually assess and do it. John, to look at the area on site and work with local resident um into installing additional screening to protect the property further no not to install it to assess it as a state needs to come back with a proposal to brian brian that will actually make them hindrance okay and my proposal is assess the situation and take further action so that will be the officers strictly dealing with it rather than because otherwise it's going to come at you and come at you and why we should do we it. We still have to come back anyway. Yeah. 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 We, exactly. we can't do that. We can't just say, oh, we're going to do it. It's like what Ben said, it's got to come back to committee, but, but, but right. to be all okay, for the cost it mm -hmm. and then be able to get yeah. it done. Yeah, that's what I've said. I, I don't want to, I'm not, so we're not agreeing to do it. We're just yeah. agreeing yeah. to let him look at it to come back to us with a proposal. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Because uh, under limits of the town park, if it's under 715, they could actually do but it. But what if the no. what if the solution is to stick a seven foot fence up, but then got to get planning application to stick mm -hmm. the fence? Then up. it will be covering. So that's that's, 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 that's the situation. But we need to understand. Yeah, but we need to understand. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's under 715, I can't yeah. imagine anything being under 750 pounds to install a solution. It's going to be a lot more than that. Yeah. 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 A lot yeah. more than that. So, Brian, do you want to? Do you want, obviously, I've got your one proposal down. So, okay. do you want to elaborate on that or that, go that, further? That, that, or? Is, that is fine. What's no, there? Okay. okay. As long as it just comes back to the committee, you okay. you, come, you do the the spade work. Yeah. Um, um, you know, in, in conjunction with the residents to look at what could be done to ameliorate this particular situation. John, can I look at your picture again? The one with the light coming through. Yeah, well, please. And then come back. I'm, I'm sure it should go back to planning or school council. Yeah, no, no, it's not about it's having the officers go away and assess that the 
constraints have been exercised effectively, but then also work with residents to articulate concerns back to council if further remedial action is required. Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm quite happy with all that. We've got to give back. That's basically what it is. Sorry. Yeah. So, this is done, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> that was a proposal right now. So, it's, uh, how many times do we have to wait? Yeah, can you yeah, send them in yeah. full? Oh, Please. yeah, then. <laughs> exactly, yeah, we need to get the, the proposal. So, as it stands, it's Brian's original proposal to look at the area, uh, for me to go and look on site at the area uh, and work with local residents to uh, assess uh, the work and, and uh, any additional screening or something like that. Further. Yeah, basically come back with a proposal to, to the council. So council, that's the first well, one. council is going to take two months. I'd like to actually defer them to a committee then, because I don't want to actually need to be having a division. Why committees every month so we can come back to the yeah. planning? Yeah. 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 Okay, so do you think you've got to get this arrangement? Let's, hello, let's. Do you think you've got to get that done? Yes, yeah, Brian, time. your proposal is going to be ordered. Yeah, I okay. seconded it. Okay, so that is. I so, already seconded it. Right. Okay. So, all in favor for yeah. this proposal? No, it Yeah. Yes. Proposal now. <laughs> <laughs> Two proposals no, on the same thing. No, no, the second proposal we couldn't. Uh, so I wanted to amend it to make sure, but we couldn't do that for some reason. So the second proposal is that we do not actually use the car park for people to go into it at the moment until you know we, we put a time on it, a time limit. Three o'clock in the afternoon. Can't go in after four o'clock or something. I don't know or it's three o'clock. I don't dark, know. Bit dark early, I don't disagree with you, but I am going to disagree. High intensity LED throw out parallel light, absolutely straight. If you look at the new BMWs and all the rest of it, their side lights are now equivalent to dip beam. If you, if they, if you look at them, they hurt. Even in daylight, someone can be disorientated by that level of light in their eyes. It's as simple as that. So all I ask is, until we, we get a solution, please let it be remain closed. Get the solution and everybody will be happy. At the moment, well, obviously we haven't got the, the lighting in. Um, we've got some barriers there that the site staff are operating. So we're, we're, using, we're using it during the day. Mm. And then at four o'clock, when, they, when they're going, half past three, four o'clock, they're shutting them. Until we carry out these investigations. Yeah. Yeah. But does okay. the. Um, does Sorry. That... Okay, so just a check. This is. But obviously, that's a proposal that Brian has just. Yeah. Um, I propose what we're guarantees. doing currently to continue doing it. Um, you know, it's down to you if anybody else makes a separate proposal, then fine. Well, we don't need a proposal. John's already doing it, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. so <coughs> you want me to continue to, to yeah. do yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. Well, you already do not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we have no lighting there at the moment. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay then I'll second. Yeah. 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 Then we'll so, so whether we have to put that as a resolution? We don't need to put no, that as a resolution. We don't need to put that as a resolution. All right. I'm sorry, but the barriers have been not open for days. It's not right, John. Okay. They've been closed. No one's been using it. Yeah, that's what I mean, that's what we, we continue with that. We're going, no, to continue, we're going to continue with that. What, we have them closed with no one using it? We're going to continue like that um, until we get it sorted out. Okay, that's fine. okay. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, can we move on? Okay, well, um, Council, thank you very much for your time tonight. Thank you.
It's good to cross pollinate, as they say. <laughs> good to meet some new faces as well. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Frank. Seven point two, two thousand eighteen strategy planning recommendation. Seven point two point one. Next stage skate park development, including DD access to surface and access ramp outside container, equipping interior containers, completion of landscaping, and project tools and equipment. Okay, so that, yeah, nothing to report. Um, Graham's um, receiving quotes and information, etc. As soon as things are in, um, we will bring it to the committee. Thank you. 7.3 Purchase of DSPC video recording equipment. I hope that's in our track. That, uh, yeah. Again, yes, that's a good point. You say that. As you know, this is an extract from the full council meeting on the 18th September 2019. That's the um, brief for purchase. Or a report, look at reports. We have, this is a quote that you will see, is it? Yeah, so this is from, um, Sharon's done this work, but uh, this is, uh, so we, to know really we've got um, 900 pounds left in the budget. Um, the whole thing, how much will this? 450? Yes, 413. 413. Yeah, I know, but they came back and said they advised that we don't go that route for now, go just buying the camera and using the built in, built in microphone system and testing it out, and then if we want to go later, spend extra money for all that, go and do it. Mm -hmm. What's your suggestion then with your expertise? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I thought that's what this was all about because we deferred it on the basis of trying to establish that because we ended up with a lot of questions being raised about would people be able to hear the recording yeah and then i thought the advice back was you will be able to hear the record you more than likely will and we should try uh, just the camera <coughs> itself and then if we determine that it's not audible and it's not correct then we go ahead and investigate and buy microphones for the camera system yeah. <coughs> sure. yes please. Um, in my office years ago, I had a wonderful CT3 camera with all the sound and everything recording to make sure that security was tip top and the building side did. And uh, it was quite amazing. And you know that was actually installed in a, in a, in a you know a position which was always um, appropriate. You know, my my question is, if you have a camera on a tripod or whatever, and you've got to continuously set that up for meetings. And not just tap into it on your computer system, but the thing's always there. You know, um, it does seem a little bit, a little bit awkward because you, you know, just basically switch it on. You know, just switch it on. You've got the, you've got the thing there. Surely we could have looked at something more of a permanent basis where we've got a camera. Oh, but we have loads of places. Sometimes only here. Yeah. And this is a tool for the room as well. Oh, just a, just a suggestion. I don't yeah, know. this is a, um, this is a nursery. Uh, the other time, so it's. Uh, Yes. This is all a good strategic yeah. plan. Yeah. 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 It's been and, discussed uh, previously, <laughs> hasn't it? And any suggestions or proposals from any of councillors on this? Yeah, we go with the 4131. Four, 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 yeah. four, three. Yeah. What's the difference is 414 and With the additional. <laughs> They just say here, yeah, they so just initiate that we should try the recording with uh, recording the meetings yeah. are built in, built on the camcorder, and only look at adding the boundary mic if the sound pickup is not good enough. Yeah. So we should do we should spend the minimum amount, minimum amount of money just by going with the advice of the company and what the clerk received, which was just to go with the mic, go with the camera. It'd be easy to set up as well because the channel went to real mics all over the place. Yeah. I don't know how it compares with Fabrizio's effort there, but the sound quality is okay. 
Yeah, but that's that camera. The camera we're going for is a four hundred, uh, three hundred and three hundred and forty pound camera, which yeah. is a quite yeah. a really good thing to say. Probably better than that's all right, actually. Okay. Two people. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fact that it's not, it, yeah. if it's a slight yeah. delay on it trying out with this new higher tech camera and getting a decent audio oh, recording, sweet. if it's terrible, we can always just go and buy a microphone yeah. for it. Okay. Is that your proposal? Yeah. 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 So I, I agree uh, with Dan on this. Um, no, this uh, I think there are two reasons why this camera would be better. One is sure. <laughs> it's, sorry, it's much more expensive than mine. mine is <laughs> ancient, it's a relic from a decade ago. And it was quite cheap 10 years ago. And, Steve um, Park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the second reason is that if, if the new one has a wide angle and we move closer, uh, the audio would be better. So, I agree with Dan, we can try it if it works. Okay. And yeah. we're going to hear every word we say yeah. without the wireless okay. microphone. Yeah, okay. So, so let's go with the proposal um, from Ionet. Yeah. Okay. So, is that the proposal? So, there is a proposal. Ben, is that your proposal? Yes, that was the.
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just come to a meeting and I didn't, I didn't uh, sort of have the previous meeting, but I, can, I gather from what has been said here is it was suggested initially several banners Small. because they were quite small, yeah. okay, and, and this is a suggestion to actually increase the width to make that particular one very relevant. So if you had three of the smaller ones, for 115 foot each, no, no, please. This is if, you have, yeah. if you have the big one, okay, the 159 pound one, because you've got various quotes, so you've got 172, 175, and everything. If you have the one at 159, then that replaces the three. Yeah. So it actually works out cheaper yeah. than the three. Okay, that is what I just said. This is the only one that gives you the wish. Yes, Roger proposed with the frame design with 159 from scratch. Anyone to second? John. All in favor? Abstentions? One abstention. Seven point five recommendations from twenty nineteen DSTC's transfer planning meeting. Seven point five point one Jubilee Center update kitchen in Midland suit John please. Okay, yeah, so this um we come back from a, a previous meeting where councillors wanted um the uh, stainless steel. Um so I've got the costings now. And uh, so in the Jubilee Centre and the Woodland Suite uh, kitchens, um, I think have you got the costs? Yeah, this one. No, 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 not that one. Just checking if do I have any costs in the, in the pack? So the costs uh, for the, the Jubilee Centre. Um, Three thousand three hundred and thirty one and thirty five and Woodland Suite three thousand seven hundred and one forty six. So obviously both both um, areas, both kitchens are, are well used, um, have heavily used and this would freshen up the area, um, improve the area substantially. Um, certainly the woodland suite that we got in here obviously is used every day by the um, by the preschool as well as the classes on weekends um, and then the, the, the kitchen in the community centre is obviously very well used as well so um, it, it, so the, the initial um, plans were um, I think the response I got from, back from council was that it was a bit um, more stainless steel for the, um, as it's a, a community building as opposed to more of a, a, a kitchen we've done in, in the so this is with uh, this state, uh, thing the still option. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I was at the meeting where I think it was Andy Ward suggested um, the metal tables, etc. I think it was an excellent idea. This was discussed at great length at strategic planning, so I'd like to propose to accept the both the quotes, please. Uh, Right, okay, so in this strategic planning, so in this current year? If the budget allows, yes. If the budget allows, yes. If not, then yeah. next year. Next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next year. Because you've got the money in the budget, so do it. Yeah. Put the budget in the budget. Yeah, John, can we rephrase it? Um, so if budget allows to proceed with um, the uh, refurbishment uh, the refurbishment of the kitchens, the Jubilee Centre, Main Build and the Woodland Suite. So you've got 
got an estimated cost for it? And, um, you can read out that cost again. Yeah, so it's uh, the Jubilee Centre one is 3,331, 35. And then that's the design, supply, fitted, with the stainless steel, and the woodland suite, 3,761, And we've got three quotes for that. Um, I can see only one quote. No. I think that's for, um, is it, uh, isn't it? Because it's, uh, you can have. Well, then all we've got, all we'd be able to do is be able to say that we can have a budget up to a certain amount. We have to obtain three quotes, then approve one of those three quotes. Yeah. So we can't yeah. roll it through, but we, yeah, we can say we want to do it. Yeah. And all these are yeah, the as strategic planning items, aren't they? So yeah, but it sounds to me it's like it's an update, isn't it? So you give me the update, and the update is then we want to proceed with three quotes to then approve the procurement. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so, so that's you an update. Amend that. That's that's an update. Okay. You want to amend that? That's an update. Right? You John? Uh, yeah, that means it because well, that's okay. two additional quotes. I'm all in favour of what John's saying to uh, to go ahead and get it done. Yeah. I'm just saying I think we did, yes, but that's a step too far. We need to get that. They, we have to have those three quotes first. And yeah. The instruction, the instruction from council should be to get the three quotes for those two kitchens. I realise they didn't realise you didn't have three quotes. So to get the three quotes, then at the next full council yeah, meeting or the finance meeting, yeah. approve. Yeah. The yeah. Expenditure. Yeah. 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 Approve one of those yeah. quotes. Yeah. I thought we were going to have this. Yeah, so that's why we didn't realise yeah. we now have three quotes. Sorry, this is an update, so you don't have to answer. So that is yeah. what, like, Ben mentioned. No, it's not this one. It's an instruction to actually well, keep to three change quotes. That, yes. yeah. And then bring to the next. No, three to five now. Three to five now. That's just a recommendation from the strategic plan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's a 7.1 and 7.2 expose updates. Okay, I'll go to 7.5.3, Jubilee Centre. Replace original. But we want to. We want to say we want three. We need to propose that we want three quotes. We haven't done that. Yeah, that is that yours. Yeah, so we need to have a solution. It's an instruction. Yeah. It's yeah. an instruction. Yeah. It's an update. So that is exactly what the normal part is. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, it's the same. You have to have three. It's going to come to finance. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. Three quotes. Quite noted that. Yeah. John will let us stand. I'll go yeah. away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, two additional quotes. Can, can you let Ben propose that and then we can have a sort of agree and then that's done. It's done. No, no, no. Because I mean, okay, that's a practice. Yeah. I'll uh, second your yeah, proposal. Yeah. <laughs> right. Can we have uh, a vote on that, please? As it's an update. Yeah. Uh, I said update, so we don't. That's right. <laughs> so 7.5.3, because it's a replacement oh, yeah. of the original flooring and flooring with good effect to match the rest of the building in Woodland Street corridor. I hope that one's got three quotes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. oh, that is with you. So this is obviously the flooring out in the corridor here, which is the original flooring. And then uh, everywhere else in the building has, has the wood effect on it. Right? So yeah that's the, the bit that's still the original. So the proposal was to um, replace that corridor with the wood flooring that we have everywhere else at the Jubilee Centre. Okay. The lowest score on that one. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, go for the cheapest. So, yeah. I generally it's go with the local companies most of the time. Mm -hmm. Local companies. Cold, 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 cold interiors in there. Yeah. So there was actually a proposal. Yeah, and that's that's it, uh, yeah. Okay, right now with the yeah. AMT flooring, yeah. uh, 1,025 plus 12. Well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's yeah. 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 And uh, so all in favour? Frank, stick around up. Franklin, all in favour. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> right, is it done? Uh, yeah, you know what yeah, Next. Next. <sighs> okay, the next sorry, one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You need to stop the carriage. Who proposed that? Sorry. Uh, Roger. 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 Roger.
This is again Bailey's Cold Activity Center. Replace damaged grass ground slash ground in preschool play area with artificial grass to allow outdoor play all year round. So that's hey, buddy. How we got it? Um, that's know? the no. This um, we're still depending on quotes and information on that. So there's there's nothing okay. to, okay. to bring out tonight. Okay. That's fine. 7.5.5, Bailey's Protective Center, Circuit Changing Rules, replace hard wearing floors, like to or like in both changing rules. So, I hope, is that the one? Yeah, so this is in your packs. Yeah. Um, it's uh, the original flooring. Um, <laughs> Very, very expensive, um, but it's uh, it needs it's in um, major need of repair. Um, I mean, it is what it is. It's a critic change room, so it's critic studs and. Is, is this is this year's budget, or are we are we only looking at this year's budget or next year? Uh, so 2020, 2021. So 2021. Yeah, I mean, at the center, so at the maintenance visit for this. Would be to it's coming within, to the budget, which has got 7.2. Yeah. Well, I like those AMG flooring. Yeah, that's right. I'm just writing down some proposals from Roger and John. Seconded by Roger. Make a comment. We're looking at um, cricket boots and cricket flooring. The work needs to be done outside the cricket season. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I agree with that. Good point. Okay. Uh, all in favour for this proposal? Um, yeah, one, two, three. Then, can I Who's having the time? Uh, it's uh, Roger's time. Sure. Sure. Yeah. 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 This is in a short season. Though. Yes. So, all in favour? Or... Hang on, this is, is this yeah. next one actually? Yeah. So it's next one. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Because we need to remember that. Yeah, next one. Yeah. 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 All right. So, then, are you in England? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, in England. The next one is Bailey's Protective Center main building. Replace male and female toilet flooring. This is again for the next financial year. At the foot also, the, again, those are clearly three codes we got. I again make the suggestion, Chairman, that the, uh, we might actually get a slight uh, reduction if the two works were done at the same time. We might like to suggest that to AMG. It saves them bringing all their equipment on slightly yeah. twice. Especially if we go with the AMG again, we will be getting a discount for all this. Uh, if you know, three lots of them. <laughs> Johnny, well, we, uh, I think if, if you want to sort of, if you propose to maybe you know, go with them and, and I'll try and do that, then I can certainly uh, do that. <laughs> Well, you flooring, you hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a county's Christmas party. But again, okay, so this, right this now, uh, who's proposed this one? This is the original yeah, flooring again. So. Proposed. Who, who wants to second this one? Is it just a proposal to go oh, ahead with this I'll, I'll, and then yeah, go with John to do something different? Yeah, but into yeah. next year. Again, yeah, this is next year's next budget. Year's, yeah. 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 Okay, so this is a clear. 1,165. All in favour? Raise your hands. So, if we're putting... That's a big one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, we're going to put on budget. So, if we're, if we're going into next financial year, yeah. the budget for next year is 25,750 on the, where, we, where we're taking all this money from to pay for this. On that budget line, we've currently spent this year seventeen thousand seven hundred and two of a twenty-five thousand pound budget. The budget next year is only increased by seven hundred and fifty pounds, and we've now put in several extra thousand from that budget line. And most of that budget is spent against annual contracts for maintenance in these buildings. So, do we actually have to adjust that budget going forward next year to accommodate for this expenditure we're putting into next financial year? Okay. I think well, this is actually, that's what I agree with me, with the with Rachel, mm -hmm. and Rachel wasn't. Uh, do you have any more to yeah. No, I mean, this this is all bits that have been rumbling on, haven't it, since yeah. September, since the strategic uh, mm -hmm. planning. Okay. So, um, I mean, that's something that we would I'm check, obviously. I'm not looking at it, but the trouble is, yeah. is when we get to the um, five-year forward plan, figures have changed quite dramatically. This is like three sets. Right. So, 
this could throw all this in the air anyway. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, can I uh, yeah, make, sure. make a, uh, just a slight difference to uh, a point? Um, you know, we spent all this money on the flooring, we spent new kitchens, we spent it on updating the pavilions, uh, and we're now updating our toilets. Are we going to revisit our charges to make sure we're covering all this? Because that's substantial expenditure, isn't it? Anyway, all that. How much was it then? 17,000? About seven grand. So yeah, next we do, yeah, so we it's, do it's, go out every year yeah, and have yeah, a look at the charges. Yeah, yeah. And we well, have if we got continually people there hammering everything into the dust, um, it's, it's maybe we ought to look at our charging policy again. Part of the policy of the strategic planning meetings yeah, as well, yeah. isn't it? On and that'd be a point of hour or something like that. We're looking at that in the moment. Yeah. We do an annual yeah, review. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But yeah. with the charges up, I mean, I, I see where you're coming from, but it could also stop people from coming because of what you're saying. Yeah, well, that's, that's the art of it, isn't it? Just putting that system up so that they'll pay it without going. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not by it. But that's not right. something yeah. else. But uh, yeah, just uh, yeah. as a contribution yeah. towards all the expenditure we've yeah. dished out here. Yeah, I know, because yeah, I mean, like, like my daughter looks. wanted to use a room here. Yeah. And yeah, no, she contacted yeah. the office yeah. when she was told how much it was cost, and she went elsewhere. Because you, you've, got to, you've got to think of. Mm. We've, yeah, it's a brilliant facilities we've got, yeah. but you've yeah. got to weigh it up. But other people. But other places can do it cheaper. Obviously, what John was saying, the kitchens have been hammered left, right, and centre all the time, yeah. Um, yeah. day in, day out, and that's why we. Yeah, I can see that, but you've got also, the, you want so, people to come in yeah, and use yeah. it. Well, so well, that's the impression skipping ahead. Because the budgets don't need to be adjusted because they came in on roughly what they were in the quotes we expected. Yeah. But the kitchens, if it's in excess of £7,000, then we need to think about increasing the level of budget in there. Mm. So I'm happy with that. I've answered my question, I'm skipping ahead. Also, that was, I think it was, like that. Yeah, it is about so, that. Yeah, yeah. So it's fine. Yeah. Alright, okay. good spot. Yeah. Uh, so that was a, yeah, that's fine. Okay, then right now, 7.5.7, Bailey's Court actually is under play area design and install a new play area to replace existing. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing to report there. Obviously, we're looking at um, uh, design and all the different functions and the requirements for uh, baby sport. So uh, I don't want to get information. I'll Thank you. Bring that to the council. Thank you. On to the next one. So by five point eight, installation of a set of traditional swings on the Beacon Place in Jubilee Centre. Uh, I'll, I'll take quotes. Nothing to report. No. Seven point five point nine, installation of bus shelters around the town. Say nothing to report. No. 7.5.10, installation of solar panels and other, other energy producing products on BSTC sites. Uh, yeah, nothing to report. Um, okay. Looking into information on that. Okay. Looking at the solar panels again, and obviously we've done a lot of work on that for like 10 years ago. Well, we had um, uh, some people came around to give us a presentation, didn't they? Yeah. Everyone yeah. said, oh, what a good idea. And then when it came to committee, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the reason why is because yeah. Sharon actually stated that yeah. they could get broken because kids yeah, kicking the ball, but they've, they've made them a lot stronger yeah. nowadays. Yeah, well, so. yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's far more board. resilient. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There are different materials that they're using. And we've also got to show that we're, we're green, we're going green. I mean, a lot of cases are now doing that. Yeah. You should have it. You're right, you said, nine years ago. Okay, so. so Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, Tony's right, it should have been nine years ago. Yeah. My colleague came to first, 12 years ago. Yeah. No, this was proposed. Yeah. And yes. there was money there, we could have done it for free. The government was giving money away. We never did it. Yeah. 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 Number, we move towards item 8 to receive the minutes of the Finance Committee held on 9 October 2019 and to deal with the matters of further the council law forward as well as the agenda. So we have the fact here received. Okay, that's the this one. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's and, uh, yeah, then right now we have to 8.1 approval of 2019 20 cash statement. We have that with you. Yeah. Sure. Before yeah. we proceed, 
Oh no, it's shit. My apology wasn't recorded here. Sorry? My apology. I think I sent an apology forward to that meeting. You can actually put that in that meeting. Yeah, or we'll yeah. the next one else we yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, just a petty cash statement I hope you have. I approve the petty cash statement. So, we have a very safe. Awesome. Yeah. Of course, I second. All in favor? Attempt to receive the minutes of the Leisure Youth and Amenities Committee held on the 14th of October 2019 and to deal with matters referred to Council not covered as well on the agenda. Okay. Received. And right now, uh, the Murray Lord, updates from South Wales Council board members, Lawrence and Bradley are going to round the round. Yes, we'll start with the board. Um, Margaret, I'm going to have that's the group opposed to uh, uh, McDonald's Starbucks development uh, on, uh, on Willowbrook and uh, they were looking for support from various uh, people, you know, and uh, I did say to them, well, I'm going to go at Jack the Crusty, so uh, I sent Jack an email saying these people need your support. And uh, he didn't really want to do it, but he did in the end, especially when there's a general election coming up. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So he did. Uh, and uh, he met with them and uh, he put in a, an appeal to the inspector on that places. <coughs> so uh, yeah, that's basically all that's happened apart from bloody deliveries and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yes, John. Uh, there's been a bit of controversy about Rabbit Roundabout, which, to be fair, doesn't really fall into my ward. It does as a town councillor, but not as a district councillor. It comes under Stuart Gifford. Mm -hmm. But I was contacted by a resident, resident in the Worthies, and if you go down Bradley Stoke Way to get to Rabbit Roundabout, if you look to your right, the council has cut down all the vegetation, yeah. and there's quite a lot of vegetation it used to shield the houses in the Worthies. And um, the resident were very happy about that. The council also said they're going to put up scaffolding to make a walkway up the top of the bank in the lawn, mm. which is totally bizarre. But um, as I said, it's not my ward, so I pass that on to the Stoke Gifford Council to deal with it. Mm. But it just seems to cut down all, all that vegetation is a disgrace. I also had that uh, when I was in Tesla, so there was a line by somebody who bought it exactly at the same point. Mm -hmm. I think I should bring back the rabbit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's right. wonderful. When, yeah, yeah it's great. I think, I think uh, John has made an important point because if it's affecting Bradley Stoke residents, even though it's in the uh, uh, ward of Stoke Gifford Councillors, yeah. I think uh, we should make representation to the district council about this anyway. I think it's to be honest, uh, I, I did speak to Ernie and he's taken the matter up. So yeah, no, I'm just saying if we do send the letter as well, because yeah. 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 we shouldn't actually not okay. well, see that it's 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 deal, isn't it? Sorry? Aren't the trees already knocked down, chopped down, or not? I well, there's, there's quite a lot of vegetation, it's all yeah. been cleared. Yeah. 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 Keep trying to put his apology today, otherwise we could have asked. Yeah. 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 Yes, Franklin. Yeah, Chair Martin Mark, but I was asked to represent South Gloucestershire Council at this Remembrance Parade to lay a wreath on behalf of South Gloucestershire Council. Yeah. So that is the only address for my hand. So, any, any other things? 
to attend um, Clark to all these things to Clark. So, do you want to say anything on behalf of Sarah Crawford? Right? Yeah, I've got something. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. myself yeah. and uh, we've, been, we've been sent an invitation from our neighbors, uh, so close and commons, to attend their meeting. Apparently, we haven't received any email uh, from that town council. And between Sarah and myself, obviously access to this council. So every time I'm present here, if she's not available, I lay the information for her angle. And if I'm unable to attend that of the other parish, Sarah's also goes there. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for that update. Um, well, from the chair's point, as we already mentioned about the memorial parade, we actually gone to the south um, of Remembrance Sunday service on behalf of, and, um, Franklin and Tommy and Fabrizio at that service. That was that was I think as a chess point. Okay. The other one uh, is we've been to um, the Bradley Stroke in Bloom. They got an award as one of the um, that is actually we need to point out and appreciate that fact and I think we need to actually congratulate them and uh, send a I thought we already have. Sharon mentioned it. We mentioned it. We mentioned it. Yeah, she did. She mentioned it the last week. Yeah, we had a, a, a the, the, the bonus etc. Yeah. yeah, we have um, on the wall in the office. Yeah. Okay, but but uh, has it been mentioned and dealt? I couldn't see that on the. Uh, on the <coughs> Tom, was that still from Bristol? Because uh, there was another one. There's another award we got recently. You know, it's from Bristol. I'm not quite sure how that happened because. Friday's Day in Bristol, but it was a more sort of paper. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I've seen that. I've kind of liked it. Yeah. 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 And uh, our fireworks uh, actually also went well. Thanks to Ben for doing other help, thanks to Tony and all other counselors for being here. Uh, that was actually, even though rain was going to be damped, it was went well. So we will carry on. Mm -hmm. That's number 12, as financial matters. 12.1, 2019-2020, investment policy. Yeah. Okay, I have the pack, but it's in here. Yeah, I, I spoke Rachel with before she went and she because she basically said just to sort of read them and let them roll over yeah. this year. Okay. Well, I'm make it, yeah. Yes. Um, a lot of these uh, fixed rate bonds we've got with uh, Cambridge and Cambridge Bank and Unit Trust Bank. So we call interest rates. Um, on the second page, on page you turn it over and it talks about non-specified investments. And uh, it talks about risky investments or so-called risky investments such as money markets, <coughs> which I agree with, it's stocks and shares. Um, and then we said that we think they're too high risk due to their unpredictability and exposure to loss. Well, it's true in a way, stocks and shares do go up and they do go down. But overall, if you take the long point of view, they outperform banks and builder societies by a mile. Um, you know, uh, and to sort of rule out that completely as a, as a means of investment is a bit uh, eternal. I mean, if we're happy with our measly 1.7% on fixed rate funds, Okay, you know, I'm just uh, okay, okay. virtually no interest. Um, I'm then, then we can try it. Yes. I was just going to say, um, Roger, I thought when we look, when we looked at the investment strategy the first time around and started um, having a working group to put it all together, with Rachel at the time, we'd looked at those other things that you just said, rightfully so, you know, have a higher return of interest rate. But then we'd all kind of turned around and said we were really unsure about it because it was the first time 
ever that we were going to start doing this type of investment yeah. or any type of investment, whereas yeah. previously it had been yeah. not really what with what we've tried to achieve with this strategy. Mm -hmm. And so I, I mean, I'd be personally a little bit nervous about. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not talking about investing vast quantities. No, 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 no. I I appreciate. I mean, I would suggest uh, you know perhaps. 20k or something into stocks and shares or into a, a unit trust or an investment trust, um, they're going to give you much better returns in the long run than any bank or building society will. Well, uh, I mean, that's, uh, that's my point of view, but uh, I mean, if you're happy with yeah. measly interest <laughs> rates. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Brian. Yeah, Chair, um, <coughs> the, th the thing is, um, I mean, some people might think they might do well on the bookies. I don't see that's too much a gamble. Um, <clears throat> but it is a gamble. Uh, stocks and shares do go up and down, and yeah. even property uh, goes up and down. Yeah. Um, and I can remember a time as a financial advisor um, when I had a big chart on my wall, which I still got, strange enough, at uh, my offices, which actually showed the stock market and all the other indexes on retail price indexes and everything the gilts, the lot on a graph, which went back from like 19, I think it was 1940, um, and right up till the big crash, and it didn't recover for seven years. The, the, the big, the amount, <coughs> we've now got on the, uh, on the FT index at the moment, I think it's about 7,800, 7, which is back up to pre-crash levels and a little bit more, just a little bit more. Uh, and yet, <clears throat> the markets, if you actually look at the, the world the world at the moment, there's a lot of economists which are saying we could be in for another big bang. Yeah, if we only put 20 grand in, we wouldn't lose an awful lot. Exactly. But then again, we're not necessarily going to gain an awful lot. And people only make money on the stock market, Roger, when effectively you come out at the right time. If you come out at the right time, you're fine. If you go for income-bearing shares, mm -hmm. and a company's not actually... Um, basically um, growing at all, but it's in a, in a market where it can provide good income and the, the, the share of where you are in, in place in the world or wherever, you know, you've got all your businesses all lined up, you don't have to go and spend any more money on capital, so you've got income coming in. You'll find that the actual market to buy those shares is quite often about 35 times the dividend on the actual price which is quite a lot to, to pay. So, you know, it is a market where people put their money in. It's also a market where dealers make a hell of a lot of money on the turn. It's a big percentage. It's like, you know, currency. If you, bought, you go into currency, you know, you can buy one currency in another currency, and you see them going up and down. The dealers are going to make the money on the turn all the time. And the percentage is on the management fees as well. So you've got management fees, you've got sometimes performance fees, and you've got managers which will make more money if they actually turn the stock. So to be quite frank with you, you know, a council for even to raise money from the ratepayer, I don't think the ratepayer would be very happy with scamming the money. And I think our well, secure done, ways we've done it in the past yeah. is to find, and if we're not if we're not actually running the council properly, um, I'm gonna rely on some kind of thing with a Stop market went up and down. It's not it's gambling, Brian. Yeah, yeah, it's we, not we gambling, it, Brian. It's investing. A lot yeah. of, uh, a lot of. Uh, Depends on which time you are yeah. doing it. They're being innovative. They're mm -hmm. looking at all sorts of things because they're cash flow, basically, as you know very well. So well, the big, the big, all. the big pension companies yeah. had a major problem. People like Rolls Royce and whatever. The government change comes around and start taxing pensions on basically income dividends. You weren't allowed them to reinvest without taxing them. Uh, companies had to have their pensions reassessed, buying mark money into the markets. People then had to come up buying those stocks. We had a major problem. We've got a change of government coming on, on board, probably, possibly. We just don't know what's going to happen in the stock market. I really wouldn't bother yes. going down that road. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, right now, having a big debate, um, we want directly conversation. I would ask Rachel perhaps to have a look as to the Propriety, uh, you know, we, we, could, we, we can do that in the stock in the first place. I think we can because other, other district care councils have actually done it. So yeah, they get right. innovative because they want to uh, increase okay. their returns, obviously. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Roger, you look to the back, the last page where we 
had a higher risk investment, which was 40k in that uh, property Rock, fund, in property, yeah. which was giving us 4.47 percent. Yeah, that's gone down a bit, I think, at the moment. But uh, yeah, go on. What about it? Well, I'm just, I'm just saying. Have you noticed it? Because that's what that was one of the alternatives for yeah, last oh, yes, year about yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. don't go stocks and shares. Yeah, but I mean, you've done an awful lot in the fixed rate bonds. Where you've got to 77 and a half thousand in the Cambridge and County. 50,000 in the unit trust fund, and uh, you know that's uh, and 78,000, which you probably need for ongoing activities. You probably need cash, you know, which can be easily <coughs> accessible. So but right now, that you would leave, but I mean, the other bits, I mean, I would. Think but some of that money we have to hold for for legal reasons, and we have to have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course we do. Yeah. So yeah, to lose it would be would be more catastrophic than earning minim, minimal interest on it. Can I just make the point that I noticed on the front page that most of the uh, bonds and things that we have actually mature next month, uh, 11, 12, 19. Yeah. Yeah. And I wondered whether we, there is actually a re-evaluation of whether we renew those or whether we look for alternative for for the time being, yeah. uh, Rachel's advice is to keep the status quo, because so that is actually the proposal from Rachel. So, why well, yeah, sorry. Well, I don't yeah. think that is always, uh, she perhaps would look at the possibility of investing a little bit of money in stocks and shares. That's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just to investigate it. Investigate, okay. Look, yeah. I really don't think that's a good idea to go that route. It, 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 we can't, if we lose it, yeah. then... Yeah, we won't lose it all, you know well, what I mean? Well, lose it, you know. they, they, they said that about the uh, about Iceland, putting yeah. money into there, so I mean, and they lost every penny. Well, so, that's a bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. it may well be. It's just an investment. It yeah. may well be, but it's still an investment. Well, it's not gambling. And, and what we've got it invested in at the moment, is, at least it's very secure. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Some and of the councils have lost a huge amount of money, including Bristol, which is absolutely yeah. massive. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I yeah. would yeah. probably say going down the stock, stock and shares route at the present moment, considering the EU, <coughs> we don't know what's going to happen. It could be very, very risky to put any money in stocks and shares because once we come out, everything could just go flat. But well, you could do really well on the stock market. Maybe it could, it could do, in. it could do, Brian, <laughs> but you can't, we have not got a crystal ball. Yeah, absolutely. We cannot see in that crystal ball. So how can we say, yeah, we'll go down that route, we're going to get millions. It's a gamble. We can't. It's, it's a gamble. gamble. It's, it's a gamble. gamble. It's yeah. investment. Okay. Isn't it interesting to think about the fact as well that stocks and shares is a gamble just like going into yeah. a book? No, it's just a gamble. I mean, yes, if is. you look at it, uh, tell him about the nine from 1940 to uh, current day. Have you got, you've got, you've got that plan done? Yeah, yeah, I could bring it down to the office. And, I could bring it down here next time. It's going to be free. And I compare, think you'll be quite shocked. How does that compare to bank and building society interest? Depends on when you take your money out. Overall, and also, and also depends on, and, and it also depends and on the government of the day. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. People used to invest in property funds. Well, with Corbyn, and, yes, and then, and then, they, 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 they were taxed at, yeah. they were taxed at a different level, even if they were yeah, an investment yeah. co contract. Okay, right. by the government, okay. and it okay. messed it up really, completely. Uh, we need to come to a conclusion. Yes, few to, to yeah, well, right, um, Ben, then Mike. So, so the recommendation we have is to just continue as is. Yeah. Yeah. So could I propose that we continue as is with the thought that, you know, we've just gone through a bit of a change with the finances, the way the finances are managed at the moment, this is in situations in the office. I don't think it would be sensible to start overburdening everybody with lots of change into this as well, mm. if the overall recommendation from Rachel would have been anyway to continue as is. I think Elaine's made a very valid point. We don't know what is going to come out of the coming out of the EU, assuming that we do. And had we been looking at this 12 months from now, it might have been a more sensible way to look at a wider picture. But at the moment, I'm in favour of absolute caution. Okay. Okay, so that is our proposal right now. I hope it will be to keep the status quo. Just to keep it exactly as it yeah, is. Oh, I said, oh yeah, Mike's a candidate. So all in favour, please.
Two yeah. uh, abstentions. One against. One. Yeah. Chair, just to note, Michael uh, made a point about the bonds coming at due shortly. What generally happens when bonds become due, the companies that have offered those bonds generally like to retain money, and they generally offer another deal. So effectively, you probably end up getting another deal offered. One point eight percent. That's what normally happens. Right now, we have to move on to the next round. Which is time. I don't want to keep you all to Dedicated police. Okay, this is an important one. Dedicated police officer funding request from the police commissioner for 2020-2021. That's a package we did. That's a request is for 15,821. That's the we are actually funding the police officer. Um, that's for some years right now, but, um, and we. Yeah, that cover almost has been do you want to please? I just want to propose this, yes. Yes, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, this uh, yeah, that's the second yeah, it's only one point six one. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. 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 Anything else? Oh, no, we'll all in favor. In favor. Oh. Those in favour. Those are all in favour. Uh, unanimous, yeah. Sorry. But we should request for them to actually have a presence of the brand and the fibers. It's not that. It doesn't mean it's uh, sometimes it's a nightmare. So all the police, all the traffic jams. Yeah. yeah. Right now it's time for 2020. The leases review right now. Okay. It's 12.3. 12.3.1. Grand Extra Radio. Yeah. This is not good. I don't think I was on the one room, but Chair, can, can I say that I've not actually renewed my membership with Barry Stoke really because as a district councillor it does become quite difficult when you want to try and give them grants or anything else. So I'll actually come off of that. So I need to, to change my, um, my, my, uh, my thing. So I don't even want me to leave the room anyway because I did know why you were early, but I haven't actually renewed this back four months ago. I didn't so you're no longer, longer a member? I'm no longer a member now. I still got, uh, I still go and see them, so I didn't. Uh, not this is Bradley Stock Radio. Sorry? Not a director? No, I came off as a director. Yeah, I was, I was important, I did that. Um, it's, it's quite difficult because you're from the district yeah. and you're directing that as well. Um, but it's in good hands. It really is in good hands. Yeah. Well, September 2019 is 1.7%. Based on those figures, the 1.7% will be applied to each lease for 2020-2021 as follows. That's for Bradley Stoke Bowls Club. The current lease is 5,699 and, and 5,000 the new lease. <laughs> 5,704 Bradley Stoke Cricket Club. 5,212 we increased to 5,301 and first Bradley Stoke Scout Group the 5,676 will be increased to 5,773. The organizations have been advised of these uplist and they're happy with the proposed increases. Well, sure they are, yes, but uh, why are we using CPI instead of, uh, which is much lower than the RPI? Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. um, I just asked the question. I mean, yeah. maybe maybe yeah. CPI is the right way to go. But Isn't that the contract? Is it the contract? Um, I think it's I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. Is it? Yeah, I think it is actually. 
for it to show. Okay, well, if it's in the contract. Because it's in the contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 1.7% increase all the way around. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it is yeah. 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 Yeah.
So, because they broadcast all over the area, they thought, well, we'll go and get some math money from, uh, from uh, you know, the local councillors all around the area. So then what happened, as soon as he applied for it, yeah. there was people coming around saying, oh, well, you know, you're Bradley Stoke, and we're up in Frampton Comfortable, we're down in Yate, or up in Yate, or we're down in Staple Hill, all the sort of places that they've been to help and actually get people in from on the, on the station. The trouble is, because it's Bradley Stoke Radio, because it's Bradley Stoke, it's basically, unfortunately, becoming a situation that's finding them Bradley difficult Stoke. to actually get money in, although there's a hell of a lot of people but in Bradley Stoke that actually go to the station, get trained up, and actually do all the broadcasts and everything. And some of the cases have been Bradley Stoke Radio because they've been on it, and they, they know the benefit. So that's what I'd like to say. It is difficult for them. It's not easy. They're not a business where they make lots of money and then pay people's staff money. They don't pay any of the staff money because they're not staff. They're all volunteers. Okay. Yes, that's what I just want to say. Yeah, I, don't think that. I, d I, th I think that's... Well, yeah, no, one, no one dispute that that's a, a good thing that Brian's raised. But I just want to note that they they themselves, the radio, there's 950 per annum for 2017-18, 950 per annum for 18-19, and 850 per annum for 19-20, and yet we froze it at 750 uh, per annum. So to me, everyone else in the community receives a an uplift like we've just done with the Scouts and the um, Bowls Club and the Cricket Club. Yeah. So I think Bradley State Radio, at least, well, they've, been, they've had the help and support they've had to get themselves going. And I think when we're, um, I think, I think, I think they, they are justified some uplift in what they're paying in even themselves, the radio lot, um, previously have come in and tried to propose an uplift to what they were. Yeah, well, they were I, I agree with you, Ben, okay. but the thing is, they will come back with a grant application here itself. So there's no point in increasing okay, the other way around. So that's the reason. I but then all these other players are. Yeah, so that is a traditional one. Again, okay, Brandish Club, Oaks Club, that is a clear different way. They operate. Well, then you can argue why are we even doing it at all then? But no, this one is uh, Bradley Stoke Radio. Yeah, so if, if, you're, if you're turning around saying they would come back with a grant application anyway, then my, I, the, by putting that back to you then, so then why are we even bothering if it's just an exchange of money one way and then another way? We just write off the fact no, that no, they no, are right now, as per law, if we have to charge because of that, so the symbolic one, tokenistic one, so that's the reason why. And they have to apply for the grant. Right but they'll receive, they'll receive revenue other ways, though, won't they, in addition to that grant? They won't. Oh, I don't know why charge the other They've got to apply for everything they get, and it's really difficult. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not disputing it would be difficult, but it's, um, I would be saying they would get something in addition to just our grant. Because that grant, I you don't grants, think we... Uh, other than the grants, I don't know whether they have any commercial uh, enterprise at the Bradley Stoke Radio. Can you actually... What, what, what I'm asking to is, they're, they're allowed under the, um, under the under Ofcom licence to raise money from advertising, okay, and then the grant, but they're not, they're not allowed to raise more money from advertising than what the grants would get. In reality, the amount of money you get from advertising is absolutely tiny. Um, they're trying to um, broadcast further, so they've got Dad Radio now um, as well, which actually goes to a, to, a, to a wider audience and will be a stronger signal uh, yeah, and go down to the southwest. But the numbers with the DAB radio, what is that? Sorry? Can you actually explain more about the Dad Radio? That, yeah, well, basically Dad that, that, that is well, DAF radio goes out on a different wavelength. It's not actually UHF or VHF or anything like that. And um, it's supposed to give quite a clear signal to those people that have actually got DAF. And um, it's, it was a, an initiative uh, made through Ofcom mm. to enable them to get on it. So they're actually sharing signal with some of the people. And, and hopefully that will take place very shortly. They're, they're on as an experimental one at the moment. It's only got a certain level of coverage around the Bristol area here and here. I mean, for instance, yeah, the that's right. That's is like out of it. But that, once they're on that, they can, they can get to the office. I understand. Yeah. Well, because it's, as it's a community enterprise, it's a different... I'm going to uh, keep out of the, by the way, from the point, you know, because even though I'm not a member, I'm going to keep out of the debate on, um, you know, on, on if we want to charge a higher rent or anything. But, you know, I, like I said, it is, it, it is a difficult situation. Well, it should do. You've got a vested interest. <laughs> I'm no longer there. I'm no longer there. Okay, no, 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 no. sorry, Roger. Okay.
this one. As it's one, that's the reason why, uh, as it's a community group which started and running it, there's no point in actually increasing and then asking, getting it the other way around, putting that money back. Okay, so I that's why. Are you? That is have to be. That's a no. Because we've just, we, it's, it, it's not the only revenue stream. I, I appreciate that they, they struggle and they do really well. Well, they don't struggle. No. They do very, very well. I'm quite happy, and I'm they quite happy, get happy, for, you I'm quite happy for you to put it up because you'll probably come back with some more money. I'll only say one thing on this. If you're putting it up on other areas for other organisations and you don't do it for Barney Stoke Radio, and German's one now, but for the same token, there will be people criticising because you're giving it special treatment. So I'm happy yes. for the situation of coming back from this. I'm not saying don't actually give them a rise um, because they can always come back for the next round if they want to, to come back from us and tie it up to them. Okay. Uh, you know, it's entirely up to, to you know, so yeah. you keep it down low, 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 and you, never, and you never increase it, then in reality, you know, what are you doing, you know? We don't know. Okay, so, yes, Ben. Yes. So for me, I'd like to propose that we go up to £850 per annum, which is what they were originally wanted to pay for 2019-20 financial year. I will second that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five, what was it? Five, yeah, yeah four to be in favour. And uh, three against, was it? Two against, three against. Okay. I think it's sensible doing that. Yeah, it's against what they want. What do I mean? Hold on, Tom. Oh, okay, so 12.4, plan was fiscal 2019 report plus budget course tied for 2020 display. Oh. Yeah. This one, the CS final is successful. Yeah, it's just a question, like with the parking again. Uh, when I was left here, about to go, when I was walking home, they required, required there was cars on both sides. On this side, the right hand side, they were all mainly parked on the path. One wheel on the road, and on the path. And it was very, very hard to get past. And I had to walk around the cars. There's people coming this way. And I was going that way. Then I had to cross the road, and then it was exactly the same thing the other side. So something needs to be done to stop cars from blocking Brookway. People will be on the parking because. Yeah, well, let us finish so this. That one. particular roundabout, you're absolutely right. Getting out from yeah. uh, Bradley Stoke after the fire was just a nightmare. Mm. Uh, and I think you just need more parking cones yeah. just to certainly keep that roundabout clear. At least the roundabout are down to where the other where the crossing is, just yeah. by Mine Street. That needs to be kept clear because and, it's and, just and, absolutely. And going up the other way as well, just yeah. Isn't. Small children yeah. in push chairs having to go around as well because people are just. Tell me, I mean, how how far do we go? You know, as, from the event. I, I think it basically needs the uh, uh, the roundabout clear. I read certainly all around that roundabout. The thing is, of course, that the police almost encourage people to park with two wheels on the pavement. Mm. To, uh, mm. to we advertise and we link with Willowbrook and we say mm. for people to mm. so park exactly. at Willowbrook, you know, we, we manage this the site, which is extremely busy, and uh, yeah, how far have... do we have to go yeah. putting cones out and things? Well, you know? appreciate that, but what if, because it's not enough room to push chairs yeah. on the path, they end up going on the road and cars are coming up and it's dark yeah. and it hits them. Uh, this, uh, yeah, 
uh, yeah, one of the things with we are advertising in all sorts of ways to park at the Widow Book Center. Not to really so, but I know that till 5.45, there will not be many people. They, they will all come up like at the uh, last minute, last minute yeah. parking and over there. And that's actually a big issue. People will be looking for people coming at that time. And then one is immediately after 20 minutes later, it's gone. You know? That is actually, yeah, the, the, at the time, the, there were so many incidents, and I was thinking that police should have been there here to see how my security. Well, from that down the road to that side, it was a traffic block. I agree with that. So people coming in large numbers at the last minute. So it's better, I think, um, one of the sessions I uh, to increase people to actually come early, put some music or something, so that it will be helpful. I don't know. Anyway, the proposal right now, the, the it went well, the program went well, music element, uh, Bradley Stroke Radio. But Bradley Stroke Radio put their announcements over there, and the big announcements are. Tom, I think the proposal is that we just have a few more cones to make clear that roundabout yep. at the end of the road. Yep. Well, I, I think, that's a, you know, we can talk about it all night. I feel like this is, maybe that's more for like a logistical, Planning the firework yeah. meeting. Yeah. I think if you have a look at the end of, at, at the end of this uh, item, there's the things there that we need from, from council to decide. Right. Obviously, yeah, logistically, we, talk we, about have, the budget at this yeah, yeah, we have various council meetings, like well, monthly almost, going up to the date. So in terms of logistics and codes and things, we can, we can that yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, think the tonight, I agree with that, uh, Tony, but I'm talking about strategically what other things. When I was starting talking about this, there was actually a willing wants to talk, that's the reason why I given up. Yeah. Yes. Okay, on the back uh, uh, so it's been suggested by a resident that in the interest of local wildlife and pets, <laughs> the council consider the provision of silent low noise pilot display for next year. Uh, I don't know if anyone's been in possession of a, a terrified pet on Bonfire Night, but uh, uh, it's not, it's it's not a particularly here. nice uh, mm -hmm. thing to do, you know, that's why yeah. I haven't been to a fire at this place for ages, because I've been trying to yeah, pacify yeah. Uh, nervous pets. Okay. Yes, um, um, so uh, what do we think about that? Um, do we want a, a low noise well, I would counter that with saying that by having a public display, you actually encourage people to go to something which is a safe and controlled event, as opposed to buying things from supermarkets and having them in their gardens and causing all sorts of havoc and yeah. endangering themselves. Yeah, it's all the pets that's around yeah. the area. That was I get the idea. I get the idea. There's pets. And it is um, obviously no concern to you. And, uh, well, it's not that it's no concern to me. I just think having by trying to encourage one event and one activity for what is 11, 20 minutes under the fireworks compared to encouraging people buying it from the supermarket over the counter, taking it home themselves and doing it, and then having weeks on end of fireworks and children playing with fireworks and people who shouldn't have fireworks playing with fireworks. Well, Adults we, shouldn't have fireworks. We're, not, we're not disputing the fact that Bradley Stoke can have a firework display and that will still attract people, but whether but it's very loud whizzes and bangs or uh, you know, more restrained but, this, but our But our firework display, I think, would encourage people to have less firework displays or private displays themselves. Yeah. Over, in total, oh, reducing the overall so. noise impact from bonfire night. That's uh, one of the submissions, I think. The one I checked with the the person who yeah. reported. Yeah. And uh, he's asked whether it was his complaint. You know, he said it's not his, his neighbours. Then I asked for the neighbours' details, and he hasn't supplied so far. Yeah. And when I, I'm looking at the scenario, well, I agree with what Ben Randall said. Because when children are here, we can actually see the direct response directly. Even if there are no noise as well, Children say, oh, why, what is this? You know, that's when this band come, yeah, they're cheerful. They want to hear that, they want to see the color. And that's the reason why they're here, okay? So people in a large number. So I'm seeing the balance. Are you? I'm seeing the balance because actually people, the response from the children and other people, that's the reason why they're coming. And I feel that that's, this one is a controlled one. It's in a safe environment. Looking at all the health and safety features and all the regulations in place. This is actually one of the, Open free event mm -hmm. in this area. Yeah. There's, there's loads of bats around here as well. Yeah. They're protected yeah. species. 
We might be interested to know that the RFQTA has come up with a proposal for, uh, uh, which Franklin, uh, Brian, John and myself have had several emails purporting to be from people local saying can we control fireworks in the interest of pets. And um, Aaron Sims, who's our political advisor, came come back and said, uh, do we want to put in um, a proposal um, for this? And uh, uh, so there may well be some things. Did you get it? Did you yeah. Get it? Yeah. 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 Can so I keep that? We may yeah. well. Yeah. We may well uh, put a proposal in that uh, you know organised fireworks displays shouldn't be as noisy. They you know, should be dumbing down the noises. I mean, still with the picture, you know, the flashes and the, uh, and the rockets and that sort of thing. But uh, do they not, cost more? I think they cost a bit more, don't they? Well, so uh, according to this, it says it costs a bit more. I don't know how much more, but uh, yeah. what we spend eight and a half grand on it anyway. So I mean, you know. One of the um, big yeah, changes. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. 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 The uh, cease to sell yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, uh, sorry. Um, right now, Brian then. Okay. <coughs> Interestingly enough, I mean, we've been doing this every year, and every time this is, I've been a district councillor. The thing is, I agree that it is far better to have an organised display where people go and buy fireworks and put them in a garden and sometimes just get hold of them and can do damage. Okay, and I'll tell you something I witnessed many years ago and I was only small at the time. Um, we had a, a child um, in my area, he was a bit older than me, and he had learning difficulties. Okay, and though he uh, came home the weekends to his parents, he actually used to uh, go support them uh, during the week. And he'd been a little bit disfigured as well as having this learning difficulty. And I should always remember, when I was about eight years of age, seeing some lads catch hold of him and put bangers in his ears and light them. And it was horrendous. And <clears throat> the reality is we are played by idiots, unfortunately. We've got this sort of stupid sort of thing, you know, uh, about human beings, and it's awful. A huge amount of pets are really badly damaged by fireworks, mm -hmm. sounds, mm -hmm. and noises. Yeah. Um, we had a, 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 a beautiful uh, horse which we bred, and um, he was a stallion, and he was an amazing, amazing horse. He was just so beautiful. And unfortunately, we actually lost him uh, because of fireworks which had come sort of to us. We, we didn't actually know that this play was going to be done, and unfortunately it happened, and he twisted a gut, and we had to put him down. And this happens on a regular basis. Um, it's, not, it's not something which is turning off fireworks. I know that these things happen. It happened to us. It certainly uh, made me more concerned about it. But the reality is, I think Royce is right. Um, there could be a situation where, at some point, we need to be looking at noise. And for some people, with their hearing, interestingly enough, some people don't go to rock concerts because they've got problems with their hearing. Mm -hmm. um, I've got problems with my hearing, I know John's got some problems with his hearing. The reality is, well, sometimes very, very loud noises, yeah, pardon, yeah. can actually damage your hearing even more, especially if you've got things like tinnitus. And, you know, a sudden really loud noise, and some of these types of explosions, so they can be exciting, they sound like cannons, you know, you're back in the war and you're seeing these guns go off and the rest of it, and there's sparks in the sky. But, you know, it's not actually, it can be different. I'd like to see all parts banned except for um, proper displays as we do in Bradley Stoke. And I think if we can temper the noise on those in some way, yeah. um, without actually detracting from the display, yeah. then that would be absolutely a good thing for us to do. Yeah. Okay. Is that your proposal? Well, I, you know, it's a proposal if somebody wants to take it on. So I was going to say, so at the moment, this year, a leading supermarket in the UK turned around and said it wasn't going to sell fireworks this year. Unfortunately for us, that leading supermarket is not within the boundary of Bradley Stoke, but they are within probably about two to five miles of the Bradley Stoke border. What would be, I think, beneficial for Bradley Stoke Town Council to do is to say to the other leading supermarket in our town, 
is that we have an organised display every single year for Bonfire Night, Guy Fawkes Night, and that we would like them to take similar positive action that another leading supermarket has done to withdraw sale of fireworks from out of the supermarkets in this well, area. I've made a proposal, I'm quite happy to have that as an additional well, amendment on it. Yeah. Um, but you know, not to actually place the proposal. Second that. Yeah. Right. I think uh, it needs to be supermarkets plural. Yeah. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. and you say just everything. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right across the board. It would be good for an energy bike to them, but you won't actually. Think. No, I know, but I think but it's a matter of principle, and I think I that agree. one of them's already decided to do it this year off the back of themselves. Yeah, I agree with you. It, yeah. it just asserts the right level of pressure that people need to start thinking about these things. I'm, I'm really pleased that you know that. Know, that people listen to, to that because it is, it is a, a, it's a terrible thing when these things happen. Yeah. And I'm sorry to have shared that thing with, that happened in front of me many years ago, but it's always stayed with me. Yes, Johnny. Just one well, very quick thing. Um, I know the majority of pets don't like the fireworks, but is there for only 20 minutes? But I actually do know one dog, which is a gun dog, actually loves the fireworks. So it's not true that all pets don't like fireworks. They, I agree the majority don't, but there are some that do. It's fully 20 minutes in a year. I don't know, but if they do go on. It's not just um, mm -hmm. yeah. on a yearly basis. They go before that, they go yeah. after that. That's right. And when it was the down so that's down the private, week, that's the they, private we can't control that. The hour one is only 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah. And if, if we did go silent, I think we'd have a lot of. You can't do silent. It's impossible to do silent. You can't please everybody. Because this is off the back of one. I'm not proposing that we do silent. And he hasn't surprised us. We have one out of six by that. I propose that we actually try and add heavy juice to silent. But not actually to make them cry silent. Right. Brian's proposed to actually try and reduce the noise on the pilot display. We ought to go to Disney. And I would second that. And with Annie and Mel writing to every single the station, for a bend, which is quite sensible. But we cannot police it. And one of the things is, if someone actually buying it from Bristol or regularly, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you're if you're active, if we're doing something as a little town, trying to say we do, we've got yeah. a controlled event, a public event that we've got proper standards. We go through a health and safety risk assessment, all of those things with it. We're then putting out there to these these other responsible organisations and saying, look, we do something that is where people can go and enjoy these things sensibly. You're promoting an avenue which is dangerous to individuals. I'm not saying police it or anything like that. It's, okay. it's just, it's asserting positive action in the right, in the right way. I'm not expecting yeah. to be policing the border of Bradley Stoke and stopping some of the firework from London or from Bristol. I don't think or... it would do bad because it's also money to them, isn't it? Because they get cheap. Yes. And then they sell at a certain price. But I think if you've got if you've already got a supermarket already that has decided to do this, it will it takes organisations like ourselves asking that question well, to start to make. Then the letter goes. To say That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah, start to write to Tesco or we yeah. write to others. So, Brian, to reduce the noise of next year's display, yeah. and then for BSTC to write... And I, I would appreciate, effectively, if Ben um, could be given the job of writing that letter, because I know we do it in a good manner, and it's not actually to tell people to stop, it's actually to give them that... Yeah, yeah, we, want, yeah. we just want to ask those supermarkets if they've got a supermarket yeah. in there. Yeah. And they're taking responsibility. We'd like to see them doing the same thing. To yeah, okay, to write a letter. Yeah. And who is this to? Tesco's. I'd say any Tesco's. any any outlet that we think would sell fireworks yes. within yeah. five miles of here. The fish and chip shops, I think. Within five miles. I like it. <laughs> I love it. Can that a bit odd? Tesco's a bit odd. Yeah. No, there's all the. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Let's say that all the supermarkets inside Bradley State have got to be their chief executives. Well, well, manage, manage, manage. Asda. 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 Yeah, yeah. You can certainly extend it to Asda because uh, at the end of the day, a lot of people from here, you know, yeah. go up there, don't they? So.
Well, then you have got the range at Stoke Gifford, and so you go on. Morris has spent his cell phone, but if they do, it's obviously a better quality than the rest of the Do we need to be so specific? Could we just say... Okay, right now, there's a proposal. Yeah, let's... Leave it to Ben to do that. I love right. Okay, so there's a proposal right that I am seconded by a voucher. Um, so this is to reduce the voice noise yeah. at, the, at the next year's fireworks display. Right. So all in favor, raise your hands. One, two, three. No, no good leaving a letter until next next right. year. Because right. <laughs> right. right. order, order so right. the noise. Yeah. 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 Against. Three, three against. Abstention. Two abstentions. Oh, I agree with the second part, but not with the first part. Well, it's all part of this amendment. On yeah. that. So it will be. We'll request. Well, we're going to try it. Yeah, just try it. Did you think you could have a big Not have as many bags, you know, have a big one at the back on the end. So, and uh, right now that's one part. Yeah. Okay, so. Just a matter of interest, then eight. Oh, send miles away from it, but we can hear it and it's quite loud. Okay. From, from East, where, where Sarah is. We can hear it right down there. So yeah. 20 the minutes in the year. Okay. So the next two events to go ahead, the council may need to set the overall budget. It's suggested that this could be in the region of 8,600. All the same laws against them being planned according to what it was. Well, we might need to look at that if we go for their noise. Yeah, it's got to be more expensive. So we say nine grand? Mm. Would that be a reason? We don't need to do that. We can look up if the budget later closer to the time we quote start going that ridiculously high. Because then we've done what the proposal says, we're gonna go away and investigate it. And yep. if it comes back prohibitively expensive, a hundred thousand pound firework display, no. we would never do it. But <laughs> absolutely not. We well, don't that Aldi and Morris to sell those fireworks. Okay, that's so this one to be in the region of 8,600. Mm -hmm. um, that's a proposal. Uh, ben proposing you that. Anyone to second that? Mm -hmm. Roger to second that. All in favour for that? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Okay. Excellent. Three, four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, 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 four. Abstentions. Four against. Abstentions. Thank you. One of the two of those cigarettes. So that is 8,600 feet. Council will also need to consider whether to ask Fireworks Company to drink for a new and one off event or a three year price contract. Which So can we actually do that rather than having one year every year? So that three years, then you'll get a better quote. Um, how about two years plus one? So this is actually a one-off event, or actually three years fixed price contract. Should I say two years? Do two years? Two years plus one. Yeah. Two years and if satisfied, then yeah. another one. So if you do three years, and they're absolute rubbish, you can't get out of it. I mean, yeah. it's good so that is, that is the day after this next fireworks, if it goes total silence, you may say, well, actually, we don't want that. Yeah. That's true. Well, we can't make two more sites. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. Exactly well. <laughs> yeah, so I'd say two, two Because two, I'll tell you, oh, oh. even this time, many people said that the grand family, you know, the, it was not with a big bang. So this, many people came and said, why there was not the big bang at the yeah. moment, you know? So yeah. that is, that's what to wait for, is that big bang at the end. That's the finale, isn't it? Yeah, but it hasn't. Uh, Get her a dress and we'll give him a big bang. Yes, <laughs> okay, well, I suppose the idea is two years. Oh, my, oh, my, my oh, sorry, sorry bro. Right. A, right. a two year fixed contract yeah. with the option of a one year to extend. Yeah. Okay, so that is a proposal by Ben. And then to second that. That's what the name proposed. She yeah, yeah. only proposed that, so that is what she really mm -hmm. agreed to. Well, the name proposed or what? I mean, I think the name proposed. Roger. Oh, Roger. Uh, Ben, two years plus one, but I said two years. I just gave two years plus one, it's three a fixed price contract with a break clause after two years. But oh, why don't we just do 
a one year further to two years if it's okay for next year. Because that's year. just a single year in yours, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, but we could look at it. There's a possible total change in what the type of fireworks are. <laughs> because if it goes silent and then people start complaining, yeah. we've got them changing. So we have to do one year further to look in, depending on what the public reaction is. Well, and yeah, it could be red, it could be good, it could be bad, couldn't it? We have contact, as it says. We have contact. We may actually get quite a few people actually saying, "Yes, I'm pleased you've done that." Thank you very much. Yeah, but then you might get most people taking it. So I would say one year in view of further contract. Yeah. Ben, I've I've written down a two-year fixed with option to extend one further year. Yeah, I don't think I don't think by doing that though we are addressing Tony's concern. I wouldn't say that. We would like contracts that it would be a silent fireworks fair. We'd be asking to spend an X amount of money on fireworks, and then they would go away and do those those things. I don't think we'd write ourselves in. Ben, I agree. You're you're not going with what I was suggesting. If, for example, you decide that it does go to this quieter fireworks, and the public don't like it, you're locked into it for two years. Mm. Yeah. But I'm not saying how we would. No, no. You're, all right, you're locked into it for just, two years. Just we say two plus one. I think it's just with the company, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's if, you want to have a different, if you want to have a noisy firework display, I'm sure it'd be a case of... As of allocating the budget to that yeah. to that com company. That's the way I, I see that. We do it for the festival. We don't have a, the exact same community festival. Like the it can come up with figures anyway. There's various yeah. meetings and they're going up to... You know, we're just putting across yeah. our requests. You, we're done changing it all the time, devolving. But yeah. what, what if they can't do, if they are just do the low, low noise and they don't do the... We're, we're, we're really surmising a lot here now. We're we're no, we're just, no, we're not. We're just looking it's at so, all the sorry, different sorry, sorry. Yeah, this is good discussion. We're really taking a step into the dark, aren't we? If we're, no pun intended. If we're, <laughs> uh, if we're uh, looking at low, low noise fireworks, we may find it's absolutely considered rubbish by the local residents. Um, and I think what we should do is do it for one year only and then review it after yeah. a year and see what the response has been. I think that makes sense, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think, I think do it for a year, definitely. You know, because at the end of the day, it's not well, actually... Well, I'm not saying we're fixing the idea of the silence to create years. We're fixing the idea of cost for three years. So right now, we will... Yeah, let me actually... There's actually two proposals right now on the table. One is for one year without knowing what is actually in the future like. So that is one that's been proposed by Mike. The second proposal is from Ben with the two year. We do want that additional one year. I was going to, yeah, basically what this yeah, yeah. is two so years. I just want to have, so that is actually Ben's proposal. I'll take Ben's proposal first, if that's fair. So can you explain your proposal again? It would be enter a three-year fixed price contract, essentially based on two years plus the option to extend by a year. But it's it's on a set. We have to agree a set amount with the company. Like we'd like we'd provide a certain, like we'd get the community festival to be fixed for so many years. Yeah. I don't I don't see how that would be impeding whether it's a noisy firework display or a low noise firework display. I think it's a completely separate issue. But exploring that somewhere else and this is about uh, fixing a lump sum of money for three years essentially we went up three quotes well we'd have to do all that wouldn't we? that's all part of the due diligence this yeah, is just a day yeah process as long as you go up three quotes then that's fine yeah yeah i think ben, ben, well, i don't think you're, you're not quite you're not you're fixing it into one contract for that period of time isn't it yeah, yeah. so well, and rachel was put so in the eight thousand six hundred well you can't do that then can we no, you'd have to get three quotes for the initial contract you're putting out, wouldn't you? What would the same company? No, three quotes, <laughs> three different companies, three different options. Yeah, three different options. yeah I, I, I love that we do it the speed of the boat. We said to write a contract out, and you get all those contracts out, and get three people to be in there. The discussion is fine. The proposal is that you put a fixed term contract for three years. I thought you just gave us a proposal. And when you start, when you said the council meeting, that was a chair, so that will have a better right. so... I'm yeah. getting confused now because yeah. Tony's so saying it's a different proposal. No, because I, I, I don't see how my proposal stops working with the contractor who's contracted for three years. Whoever it is. Whoever it is, yeah. you know, adjusting the firework display year by year. 
they're not going to come up to with exactly the same fireworks for those three years. They're going to give you a set of fireworks based on a fixed price cost over a three year period. And so we put that out to tender with whoever. With all can, the alternatives. With all the alternatives who can yeah. compete with us. And then we're all. <laughs> so is that a proposal? And there's a different. What's the other proposal? The other proposal is we'll renew it every year. There's a single. Yeah, let's see what's happening. That's what we think. We'll renew it every year. Renew it every year. So yeah. we always do that. I think we should renew it. Yeah. 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 I don't, I don't, well, I don't want to put forward that proposal because I don't think it's been understood. Okay, so yeah. right now that's yeah. because we're drawing, uh, Ben has been drawing that. Yeah. So that's uh, Mike's yeah. proposal yeah. to re the having a renewal contract every year yeah. and seconded by John. With one year as a, a, a low noise. Uh, yeah. Well, that's going to be renewed every year. But we're going to figure out what you want to do. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, if we move past. Let's move to the vote, Tom. Can you yeah. be honest? Yeah. 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 This is a renewable one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's right. All in favour, please. All the proposal. Which one? John. Mike's. Mike's. One year. One year. John's fine. It won't go down very well. John, you probably all know that. It's tough. One, two, three, four. Five, six, with seven, residents, eight. I mean. Oh, it's unanimous. Yeah. So unanimous. Well, hopefully, with residents, not yeah. contractors. Yeah. Residents won't like that. Wait, we said we're going to try and make oh, quiet yes. fireworks. Okay, going for the one. next one. Sorry. Yeah. You missed it. <laughs> <laughs> review of 12.5, review of allotment rental subsidies. Okay, have that. Where's the allotment? <laughs> Shall I even read? <laughs> As there is, okay, yeah, okay, I'll read it out for you. I think that's in the back. Sorry, right here. As there is no capacity for allotments within the town of Bradley Street, the town council supports their residents having an allotment by currently part funding the allotment charges for Bradley Street residents with their recognized allotment plot in any surrounding area within a five mile radius of Bradley Street. Funding will be given a proof of Bradley Street residency and also protection of an invoice receipt, which should detail the payment of a loan. size period covered responsibility funding for previous years will not be accepted. So this funding is currently carried for a maximum of 14 pounds per annum for one standard allotment load and 20 pounds for half standard allotment load per Household. There is also currently a reduced rate for all the members of the county community, that is £20 per full plot and £10 per half plot. This funding was last reviewed by the Town Council in November 2013. The allotment cost budget, that is NC5091, currently stands at £1,000 round and from 1st April 2019 payments topping £200 pounds have been made so far, six refunds. So this level of funding appears to be adequate going forward. Yeah. Prove it. Prove it. So if you're yeah, in this, I'm gonna, yeah. 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 But there's a, there's a number of things at the end. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Good try. Yes, I, I just want to make this clear. Uh, so if you've got a, an allotment in Bradley's took full pot 25 pounds, we're going to get funding of forty pounds to the allotment. <laughs> well, you said the funding is currently maximum of forty pounds. Mm. So yeah, if you're a little stoke, it's full pot is twenty five pounds. Yeah, but they only get a twenty five pound rebate from us, wouldn't they? Well, this is what I'm trying to clarify. Because it's the max for a maximum, which is what That's we're trying to clarify. Yeah. Funding yes. is for a mass. Yes. I don't think I see. Where is that? This one is review of the law. Review of the lot and funding subsidies. So that's South resident fees with the discount charges and new tenants admin fee. Band one up to 129 meters square square meter. It's 29 pounds 20. So and we effectively have it for free. 22 pounds 10. Band two all 130. <coughs> Square miles, or square meters, it's fifty-eight pounds fifty, and for Newton, that admin fee is twenty-two pounds ten. So, 
Uh, so there's something is only a percentage of each one, yeah. it's not yeah. the full block. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the, so exactly my point. You can't, you, you can't be the full block, you can't do that. Well, that's my point. Yeah. If you're that's in Little Stoke or Frampton Cultural, yeah. you know, then you've got, although it says non available for non parish residents, so they're not going to be able to get one in those two areas anyway. Yeah, yeah. anyway. Exactly. So this one is a subsidy mm. for our Bradley residents. So well, it's that's perfect to put a little stoke in Frampton Cock on there because they won't be able to get one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, probably. Maybe there is something that you don't understand. So there is a reduced rate for all the members of the community, which is a good thing. But how does it work? So it's, are we giving them half the money? Because it would be 40 for a full plot then. It's 45. For half plot. And to all the members of the community, we're giving 20. Because there is already from South Coast Council so. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Right, okay, this, this came about as a proposal from me years and years ago and Sarah yeah. when we were tasked by the council to look to see if we could get any allotments of our own. We went all around the other place to try and get allotments and at the time there were some residents living in Bradley which we still are, which are using allotments in Patchway. So what happened was we agreed because Patchway had put the cost up to our residents, mm. okay, mm. we agreed to actually make up the difference for the, the two the two lots, okay. Um, so in other words, if they were charging their residents thirty quid, mm. and we're charging our residents forty five pounds, mm. because we didn't have any plots anyway, mm. we gave them the extra fifteen quid. Now what had then happened was because of the way that Patrick was, they started putting the rates up even more to our non residents. Which was completely unfair because we thought, well, what they'll do is just actually sort of subsidise it. But we should never, never ever pay the whole lot. No. Because no. even if we had our own allotments, we would still charge a, a, a rent yeah. to the people because otherwise, you know, because people would have, have allotments, pay no money at all, and not even do anything there. Yeah. And then that would be absolutely a waste of time. So I yeah. think in reality, yeah, so Tony's yeah. quite right. And I think if Tony could come up with some kind of a percentage or whatever, um, you know, I, I sort, of, sort of sort of, I'm not actually dealing with any of the allotment charges over there because it's, it, it's difficult. So I'm on Patrick Town Council, so I'm not going to do a vote on this, but I thought I'd just give you some sort of history on it to give you, you know, and then yeah. shut okay. up. Ben, then right. um, I don't know if I'd be keen on the percentages because the percentages would, in, would encourage the idea that you could set the rate whatever it would be and then we'd have to it. You can do it Whereas at the moment, like on the back, we say forty pound. We'll give forty pound for a full plot and twenty pound for a half plot. And it seems like looking at what's been suggested on the front page, that's too much. But on the pure patch, you only pay five pound for a plot. Exactly. So I, th I think we're giving too much money in terms of yeah. subsidising the allotments. So therefore, the allotment figure has gone down. Only pay five pound. Sorry, that's what you just said. Yeah, you know, no, but I'm just. Like, I d but you said about the percentage bit, and it's not. I'm not I'm no, no, we should, never, we should never pay all of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Should, um, yeah. Well, yeah. Is I just want to ask a quick question. How many Bradley Stoke residents actually have an allotment? That's so all they said. Six. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so it's not like we're worrying about, you know, how much <coughs> we're going to exactly. pay three pounds. Mike, do you want to say something? I, I, I'm not sure this is proper use of public money actually to subsidise people outside the town. Mm -hmm. But there is no round. But the reality was we should have actually provided the yeah. allotments ourselves yeah. legally yeah. because if you have a certain yeah. number of people yeah. ask you for that, yeah. they and that's what they did, and we, we came yeah. to a, a position where we couldn't actually get the, the, the land at any cheap sort of cost, so we decided to do the other thing. Which is to subsidise those But there has to be a reasonable balance here because if 500 people suddenly came up and said, I want an allotment. Well, you have to do it. Unfortunately, that's the yeah, legal yeah, requirement. You'd have to do it. Yeah. It's only, only needs 10 people. That's why they're not these. 10 people it needs, and then you've got to provide them. And currently, you're getting away with it because there's some over there and you've given them a little, little bit okay. of subsidy because they decided to charge non residents for patching more money. So that was how it was done. Right, that, right, okay. Just want to summarise it because otherwise we... The council to consider whether £40 for a full plot or £20 for a half plot is still appropriate or whether any increase is needed. 
it would be appear that based on the information obtained, current level of funding is adequate. Yeah. Agree? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yes. yeah. you propose that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You propose that? Who to second it? Uh, John seconded. The proposal is whether to carry on with the just for the first bit. First bit. Yeah. As is. As, As is. is. As I think it is. there's a some toys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And so all in favor yeah. for that yeah. proposal? Show of hands, please. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six in favor? Six. Uh, in, against? One against. I say so that she declared it. Okay, abstentions? <laughs> three abstentions. <laughs> Proposal carry that yeah. one. The next one is councillor to consider councillor to consider whether in the interest of streamlining our allotment funding, the reduced funding rate currently offered to all the members of the community, that is who are entitled to pay a OAP rate at allotments, be removed, and they will be then be funded the maximum amount for a full, that is forty pounds or a half cloth, twenty pounds respect you of whether they pay a reduced charge that is actually a proposal yeah um, do they pay a re yes. reduced so, charge at the moment but leading to what i was saying earlier yeah. Yeah. Listen, the only one where we have a pension and rate is factual yeah so standard rate is 45 we give them 40 they may pay five for the pensioner they it's 32 pounds we only give them 20 yeah. so they end up paying 12. Yeah. So the pensioner is going to pay more than a non-pensioner, and then uh, it is bad. So personally, I, I would be in favor of considering the, to be 40 and 20 also to... Uh, so in order to make it standardized, okay. Right. So that is actually a proposal that we came. Do you want anybody who wants to really say anything more? Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, okay so to Fabrizio, can I put you as yeah. in your proposal? Yeah. Oh, so that's it. Uh, yeah. yeah. So to keep... That keep the the costs the same as the first one. For the first one. Okay. All so in if favor. For reduced rate, we're going to keep yeah. it. Yeah. All in favor. And then for uh, this one. Those sure in it. favor, not all in favor. Uh, yeah. That means all. Then will be for <laughs> no. favor. They will raise their hands. No. Okay. Okay. How okay. many in favor? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in favor. Against the proposal. Two. Abstentions? One. Six, seven, eight. So we must have two. Abstain. Two abstain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, only because I. Yeah. I'm on okay. Page, she's not there. okay, two. The council to consider whether to increase the allotment travel radius from five miles. Uh, from five miles to take into account limited availability in the immediate locality. No, no, no. 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 Councillor to con consider oh. adding the wording payment is at the discretion of the town council to an allotment funding yeah. claim for. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Proposal? No. By proposed. No, I just second. Okay. Okay. And uh, those all in favour? Those. Who? 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 Vote on whether we were not going to increase the travel distance. Yeah, yeah that's what we just that take that take it That's right. Yeah. So. right. Show of hands for the last one. The last one is one, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight in favour. Four. Yeah, eight in favor. Against? One. Abstentions? Okay, so I'm going to stay in one. I'm going to stay in one. Okay, so that's been done. done. Renewal of 12.6, renewal of ball screen maintenance, three and one drive. At Bay East Court Activity Centre, the plan is with you. Okay, this is the ball screen at the Bay East Court Activity Centre. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, I have this one. I don't know. This ball screen. Ball screen, me. Is that right? So yeah, this is that? the company that we that we use. Um, AB Sports Grain. Um, they the, the contracts are for renewal. Um, it's we have nothing but positives. The green is apparently the, the best. Yeah. The seventy-two that they look after is in yeah. great. Green recommendation, Chairman. Yeah. 
So the official recommendation is A1 Sports Ground Maintenance to continue with the service and upkeep of the and my proposed John seconded it. Those in favor, show hands, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's, yeah, it's it. Yeah. Right. Against? Abstentions? One abstention. That's done. 12.7 Replacement of entrance gate at the Rosemary Close play area. The pack is with us. And the thing is, unfortunately, one of our entrance gates at the Rosemary Close play area has been vandalized into beyond repair. All the uh, this gate has been strung on and come to office switches on many occasions. Up until now, we have always been able to repair it, but on this occasion, it's unrepairable. We have removed the damaged gates and have temporarily closed the gap with an orange barrier. Yeah, we can see that in the picture. We have reported the incidents to the police and have obtained their crime reference number. We have also submitted a claim to the insurance company for the damage. We have to pay £250 extra of this. Our insurer have confirmed that they will settle our claim at £1,225. Less our policy excess of £250. We have That's a lot of money. Yeah. I'm not kidding. It's yeah. a lot of money. A lot of money, yes. Yeah. We have a concern of these years for the design of the gate we have in place and the use with the hinges. So the new costs that we are obtaining are for a site of hydraulic fixing, which will be more robust. We have currently obtained two costs and awaiting a third. Mm -hmm. Actually, two quotes that we received is as you could see. Have we got the third quote then? Have you received, John? Uh, no. No? Okay. Yes, <coughs> is, is there some specific reason why this gate is more expensive than the normal gate? Yeah, I wouldn't be. No, this is very expensive. It's the... Um, hydraulics? It's the hydraulics and this particular, as you probably know, Tom's yeah. reporting it, yeah. um, it keeps getting damaged as, as it is currently. So um, use is swing on it and it, it just it breaks. Mm. Mm. So if you get a new one, it would a standard one, it would do the same. So, so what 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 are you asking? So what does what, what, what have you thought is a have you got any drawings of the proposal of the new type of game? Um it's it's pretty much the same outlook, but it's, it's more sturdy, so it will be. It will be this. Obviously, we've got the, the orange barrier there at the moment. And you need uh, three quotes. Yeah, there's two quotes already. Yeah. yeah, waiting for another one. We've been waiting on a third, but and, and well, we'll can you put this in advance? Do you want to do a third quote because it might be quite different? But the uh, thing is, Bristol Rocks, which do gates as well, um, and they've just done a shitload of work for Bristol City Council. We're on their list. Um, no doubt they can give you a price if you're still waiting for one, you haven't turned up. Right, well, I know um, I think Vicky's been doing this, but obviously, if, um, I, if there's I, some. I'll ping you the details over tomorrow for that. Yeah, yeah if, if Council want that third quote, then yeah. obviously I, yeah. I, I can listen yeah. to that. So that's very expensive. Can I, can, I, can I say uh, that effectively health and safety is, is paramount for kids and yes. stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. And the reason I asked John. Um, what the situation was with, you know, why it was a, an expensive gate, because if it's an expensive gate, fine. But if you actually read down through this, our insurers, insurers have now confirmed they will settle our claim at £1,625, yeah. less our policy access to £2,000, £2,000, So if we, and remember we claim back on our VAT, mm. you know, if, if we ended up with Matt Leisure, for instance, which is the lowest quote there, at 1625 it may be the sovereign plane would be less, but then again, if we had a lesser price gate, would in reality the insurance company, because you'd have to go back to the insurance company and say, well, in that fact, we replaced, thanks for the money, we've got a lesser quality gate now, 
But uh, you can't say that. It's just no. well, know, no, because if it's quality is... like for like, you're not going to get less quality gate area. It's not as good as like for like. Well, it's got to be like for like. It's so just that's, that's what we're doing, isn't it? We're person. doing like for like, yeah. which we've got to do anyway. Think... And if we did anything less, and if something went wrong, then we'd be well, missing yeah, our I mean, health and safety. Play out of gates. I mean, that's that's so, that's so expensive, aren't they? It's crazy, but I mean, that, that is the. the Cost, you know, we've got the the companies that we that, that are right there, the player companies, so in they're, they're reality, specialists. In reality, like all we're doing is actually spending the difference between thirteen hundred and seventy five. If we go for the the second one, we're only going up a couple hundred quid. We we could wait, certainly wait for quote waited for the other one. Um, has it got to come back to finance? Those are on its finance meeting. December nineteenth. Yeah, can we wait for that? Well, at the moment, you can see in the picture in the background, they've got an orange barrier across. Yeah. So I think we need to get something happening quickly. quickly. For the extra couple of hundred quid, I would say, as long as, because, you know, we're, generally we're going to go for three quotes if it's over a certain level. Yeah. If we're only going to have, you know, say, 300 quid, we're going to have 300 quid. Yeah. 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 Ye
say that we, it's 39 in total. Well, yeah. You've got 12 on the first one, play this call. Yeah. It's five days a week, three hours on one. It's 15. Can I Two, four, six, two, six is a twelve. I mean, yeah, the, the hours um, are, as we know, they're, they're quite tight on all the sites. They're quite tight, as tight as it can be. Yeah, Manoles, but I think the third year, the rank is going to increase further. Yeah, so, so um, they've looking at the costs um it, 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 it still falls within the, the cheapest quote but that's third year there's, there's an increase yeah. but so it's fixed for two years it's cheaper than the others and, and it's still and falls cheaper than it i'll propose it yeah okay so there's a proposal from roger seconded by mike for manual cleaning services and you've got all the optics on there anyway, you? Yeah. They're, they're yes. Just went down anyway. Yeah. So because of the issues we had okay. 18 yeah. months ago, and, and um, they've yeah. come in and sorted it out. Okay. So we're staying with existing people. Yeah. And that's 15 to which is? Yes. Yes. So those in favour, raise your hands for this proposal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 in favour. I mean, is it okay to give it to a French contractor? Abstentions? <laughs> against? <laughs> against? <laughs> Abstentions? Tony? Uh, I'm abstaining. I'm abstaining, of course. Okay. That's great, thank you very much. Okay, that's fine. Okay. 12.9, 2020 to 2021. First budget draft and forward plan. That's. Um, uh, sorry, do you want to talk about this issue? Do you want to please to call? Usually the other four twenty twelve. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, I'm counting at Northamptonshire. Yes. And Northampton County has made a complete bog of its finances because they decided not to put the rate up year on year. And they're very proud of both. They had the lowest tax rate of any shire county. Yeah. And the end result was that they ended up bankrupt and the special measures were taken. Now, I'm concerned that over four years, we are actually increasing our deficit by 10 times estimated deficit. And I just am not happy with those levels of figures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we've had the preset. Um, just, uh, from we had this because of the election. We had a mirror. We had we just have a mirror league. So that is based on what South Boston Council predict have now predicted for the next one, two, three, four, five years. And uh, they won't confirm them until January. But that's what they're unlikely to change. I've asked that, and that's those figures. Uh, but that is based on the, the preset of one one five not going up over the next five years. So, I mean, to actually bring us back into a sensible But what I did, because I, I looked on the council to see how much it went up to, um, they, they increased their rents. And if we increased it by 3%, that's what the budget would change to. That's what we're doing for change on a 3% increase. That's the biggest of the cost of the money. But to, to, to meet that degree of increase, we're going to have to put up our rates yeah, by a tangible amount. So we're not looking not at just one or two percent. I right. suggest to get up to two hundred. Um, so one was this one was three percent, and I've also done one with two percent. So hopefully, I've got one there. Thank you. Historically, though, we have this if we. Every year we get to this point, we have this low and um... it's, I don't I mean go with the previous budget, the end figure was nowhere near I think that's about double. See I was brought up by Charles Dickens and Mr. McCorber's view that income twenty pounds, expenditure twenty pounds and sixpence result misery. Uh, I'm worried that's where we're getting to. 
If yeah. we increase it by 2%, which would just put, uh, would put the monthly um, charge up to 118.09, but the 24 to 25 deficit would be 109,000 or 203. And we'd have a positive all the way up to that uh, fifth year. But with, you know, we, we do save money and we have got surpluses. So it's not to say it would be that, but that is the prediction based on the, bu the budget that has been set at the moment. There's often a lot of factors that built into the budget. Yeah, I mean, there is. Rachel's pretty conservative in, in small C in that respect. So. We never, we never yeah, I, mean, I, think hit the the 60, I think we're bringing <laughs> forward something like sixty-seven thousand um, yeah. this yeah. this year. Mm. So I mean, it is worst case scenario, but yeah. then that's what we've got to look at. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm worried about the fact that we get to 2024, 25, and we suddenly had to put up our uh, rates by ten percent or something to. Uh, yeah. No, we've done it for the last nine years like this, and we've yeah. never had to do it. Right, okay. okay. Well, I'm the new boy, so I yeah. apologise if I'm raising the right. yes. problem. But yeah, I can yeah. see yeah. from taking the point yeah. 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 There's a couple of things with, <coughs> with budgets and forward planning. I mean, one of the reasons we've got um, a five year forward plan is basically because <coughs> when we had um, quite a lot of money in reserves, and uh, what's the figure out now we've got in our current reserve? It's in here. Sorry. Um, it was a, we were bringing forward about 67 from this year. Yes. That's not so, how much is it? Sorry. <laughs> um, it's not bad. 67. That's about half, a third of the way down the first page. Yeah, that's what we predicted to bring forward. I mean, for uh, year end 1890, it was 82. 19. Uh, Okay. Right, so <clears throat> we've got £67,000 um, sort of surplus. Well, not yeah. surplus, but reserve. No, it's a surplus. It's, it's a set of surplus. Yeah. What's yeah. I'm trying to find out? What's our reserve? What's our reserve we've got? Not surplus. Reserves, it's like two hundred and something. Right. Okay. So if you've got to have two hundred thousand pounds in reserve, okay, and how much? You, how much is our total money we spend every year? Well, that's in the um, total expenditure. Is I think I think is the halfway down nine six five to eighteen nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. It's on there. Yeah. yeah. The budget total expenditure yeah, as per budget overly. Yes, yeah, so one million. It's one million, right? Yeah. So one million and two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand is twenty percent of a million. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right now, effectively, if we have a surf, if we have um, a um, not surplus but a reserve of more than twenty five percent, then we got a problem. One of the reasons we've got this five-year plan is that we could always show that we have less than 25%, which means that we are not having too much because it can actually pull clawed back by the district council, if you know that, and disappear. So if we've got too much um, in reserves, that can cause us a problem. I mean, Michael said the other way around, we could actually have a problem the other way. Um, and it's obviously important to, to try and make sure that we increase our, um, you know, try to keep our reserves as they are if we can, but also uh, make sure that we are looking to make sure that we can afford any increases in the future. Now, we don't know what, um, if there's going to be a Labour government in and they're going to go for everybody for four day weeks and increase everyone's salary by 10% or whatever. So we don't know that at the moment, so we can't put that in our budget planning at the moment. If they get in and they and, and, and sort it out, you know, it's still going to take a year to go through. So we can actually look at making sure that we are covered in the future. Um, but I think, you know, a, a modest increase to sort of cover inflation may be a sensible thing to do. This is, this is just right now to take them the chart, look into the chart, and uh, you can come up with the in process because we have the final one, second one, final one coming up. Any or go round table, do you want to say anything? Not at this moment, but when we do vote on whether the preset one or not going to be enabled. Thank you. Anybody wants to drink?
Um, well, yeah, I mean, we're generally a well-resourced and well-governed uh, uh, financially uh, as a body. They're just a law in the hand, and they're very easy. Um, I see no problem at all with it. I, mean, I think we're, we're quite well off by comparison. Mm -hmm. I mean, you compare us to South Gloucestershire, we're, we're rolling in it compared to them. <coughs> so yeah, take too much, they'll take it off us, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the budgets are set at the worst possible level, you know, the, the worst possible scenario, and, and we never spend the all of it, well, in most okay. cases we don't, and we always have a surplus at the year end, and quite happy to accept it. Okay. What do you put here? Yeah. Okay. So that's the forward yeah. plan. Okay, yeah, yeah. we'll go to the next one. Yeah. 12.10. Approved bills and bill for this for payment. Where is that thing then? Absolutely. Valuable service. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. And thanks for our update uh, of 
And also, I think that's actually a very good model if there, you don't uh, attend any of these programs or are representing uh, the uh, town council. It's better to actually give an update and so that. So they, they do actually go because there's mutual support, yeah. travel quite some distance to um, carry out their duties. Uh, and I know our one recently went over to West Wales to help uh, search for a chap running amok with a knife, for example, the police. Yeah, I think residents, you know, um, some residents don't like the noise, especially when police helicopters at night. But okay. I always think, well, at least they're up there looking after us. Okay, thank you. We will go because it's such a important thing. 13.2, review of the STC power of contract for members. This one is like a review, is a numbers for contract. And the red one is actually the proposal. So as you can see, there are few few things, changes a few changes, um, as you can see. Yes, Brad. I propose the amended changes. Uh, so again, Jared, read them at home. Yeah. Okay, when I mean, this one is actually when you work as, as a councillor. Okay, so all, all those in favour, raise your hand. I would say the standards for England Board um, are actually, they've made some quite big okay. uh, changes to the penalties which uh -huh. the council's going to impose. Okay. So that's right now, that's not uh, be approved yet, it's coming forward. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right now, uh, this is actually number 14. I would like to go to the closed session. And this, can you raise your switch off there? Yep. I second that. Uh, yeah, yeah, second. Yeah. Thank you. All those in favor? Yeah, I'll do it.